Yeah, bro. <laughs> Yo, what's up? What's up? What's up? Welcome to the Disruption Podcast, episode seventy-three. Yeah, yeah. It's the kid Noah. Oh snap! It's me, bro. It feels weird because yeah, I'm not even know what's the order. Right, if you're watching this on the YouTube, different. You see the new studio. That threw me off, man. And you We're said the different. kid Nora as well. Yeah, Who's that, man? It's, it's Chief Ola Sudge in the building, baby. It's your girl Mawizi. And you got Carlos and Dad. And oh, we're joined by a very special guest today. We got Sherry from the Curls Guide. Hey, Yo, guys. what's good? What's up? Man, how how was how was that um intro? How how are we feeling? Because I I think we do a good intro, yeah. Mm. But I haven't actually ever heard anyone comment on it this whole time we've yeah. been doing a podcast. <laughs> no one said anything. Nah, so it's good energy. It's yeah? Vibes. yeah. Ah, that's all I like. Yeah, that's all I like to hear, good. man. Ah, how y'all feeling, man? It's good. It's been a good day. Productive day for me. Yeah? yeah. On a Saturday. Yeah, I woke up like seven, started doing gardening. Woo! I <laughs> said gardening. Nah, nah. I'm grown that? now. Nah, nah, trust me. You know you're a happy man when you start doing yes. gardening. <laughs> Bro, yeah. nah, trust us. Nah, my dad walked into my room and said, We're gardening. We're gardening. He jumped on his <laughs> own. So you guys like actually planting stuff? Nah, or? I was mowing lawn, doing all this. Okay, this guy's yeah. pulling out roots. This guy's at my dad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was wondering who's that. Yeah, and then I don't know. Did a whole bunch of stuff. Dishwasher. Damn, bro. You're doing stuff stuff. Yeah, today, he's doing bro. stuff stuff. Come on. Bro. You all see the new setup? We're getting paid now. All right, don't do that. Don't <laughs> be silly. Don't, don't be silly. Don't yeah. be silly, bro. Uh. That, because we're still trying to get paid. We're if we tell people that we're exactly. getting paid, no one's going to want to pay us. I'm getting robbed before we ever nah, get guys, paid. Guys, I'm joking. <laughs> we're not getting paid yet. Oh, man. Oh, right, hearing that number, <laughs> hearing that 73, <laughs> that sounds nice, man. Like that, I don't like this, guys, actually. Yo, it feels weird looking at you like this, man. This kind of angle like this. Hey, it is what it is, man. But yeah, man, we're here. How y'all feeling, man? What's going on in your life? So you you, are, you were doing your gardening that this morning, man. Today. Bro, this guy looked like he came from the bro, longest man, day. Trust, bro. Oh, man. Long, Long day. day. Like he came from the longest day of work. Bro, I'm going to go to sleep straight away, bro. Oh, man. Mm-mm. What's good with you, Mars? I fell into the, the um, what, what do you call it? The shopping frenzy Black Friday oh, sales yeah. and oh, stuff. No way, so I went shopping today. Absolutely ridiculous. It was just lines were out the building and I walked out with just one thing. So out it was kind building, of a waste. Wow. It was kind of a waste of my day. Wait, you say you walked away with one thing? One thing. Yeah. So you showed for like five hours, walked away with one thing? I was thing. there for ages. And apparently, Different stores as well. Apparently the item you got is like five dollars. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. I, mean, I, don't know if you, I don't know if it's true. <laughs> not, not even gonna lie. So every boxing day you get hyped for no reason. Yeah. And the last year you were like, Oh, never again. Mm-hmm. And then suddenly it comes around and you're like, and you know what? Again, yeah, bro. Yeah? And then you go and nothing's good and you just end up getting something from Kmart. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, it's not even discounted. Fam, nah, I think I'm actually out of like this shopping I'm stuff. Online. Yeah. Nah, I'm online. I'm proper done. Yeah, I'm all online at this point, man. Like, online? Yeah. And I'm not even shopping from like name brand no more, I think, man. Mm-hmm. I don't know, man. Hey, yeah, we, we could, doesn't, hey shut up. Uh, say yeah. something. Nah, uh, say, say something. Say something. <laughs> we, we can tell what the shoes you're wearing. Like, we know. <laughs> what? Talking about, bro. This is nah, today you were in the real Air Force. <laughs> oh, Yesterday, man. that Air Force was like, yeah, right. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. <laughs> fake, baby. I'm yeah. giving up. Yeah, man. Hey, it's, hey, it's, hey, hey. Sherry, bro. tell him, bro. Uh, tell him about yeah, the, yeah, I'll tell. you up. You don't need to do that. <laughs> yes. <Yeah. laughs> no, nah, I'm hey, actually, Give him a discount in that. I think I'm done, man. Like, it's stressful doing all this. And it new stuff stressful. drops all the time oh, mm, from, like, yeah. all these different brands. And I'm like, I can't keep up anymore, man. So, I, actually, that reminds me of what Noah was saying. Like, the shoes... Yeah, about, about the fit and the shoes. Yeah, what are you so saying? I was I, like this week. I don't know who I was. I was looking at somebody. Yeah, I saw somebody wearing a like Dragon Ball Z hoodie or something, mm. and then they were wearing nice jeans, nice kicks, mm. and I was like, the kicks is what makes this person not a geek. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like wow. you know, if you see somebody that's wearing a Dragon Ball Z hoodie and then bad shoes, you're like, <laughs> <laughs> no drip. And, and like it's an Im- yeah, yeah. Lucky. but now that they've got nice shoes, yeah, like and you're like, you know what, yeah, this guy, this guy's an interesting person. Oh shoot, this guy's an interesting person. <laughs> getting yeah, excited. Yeah. So yeah. I was like, uh-huh. shoes are the most important part of any outfit. And now, uh, Lucky, I don't think you're wrong there, brother. Hmm? What shoes are you wearing? Air Force. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, same, same, same. Yeah. Not just black Force, though. He said, he said. Nah, he's not. What? Nah, actually, is it? We actually are wearing black Air Force and that. Nice. What are you wearing today? I got my Club C's Reebok. Ah. I'm gonna act like I knew what they were. I didn't, but I don't know anything about shoes, fam. Like legit, I'm, I realized like I feel like a lot of guys know these things about like this shoes brand and that. I'm like, I'm, I'm lacking, fam. Yeah. It's a slippery slope though. Like, what? I used to collect Jordans and then it got oh, no. expensive because you don't realize these guys drop like every fortnight or something. Oh, wow. But it's just really? not the hyped ones every yeah. fortnight, yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah. And Bro. there was a point where I was like, 
pulling up 6 a.m. Foot Locker or whatever. Oh, or 6 a.m. Yeah. Did you have a camp commitment? Out? Hmm? Com- camp nah, nah, my parents won't let me do <laughs> that. Come on. <laughs> you you do <laughs> but then it got to a point, I like rocked them like three, four times and I was like, I'm just, you know, you're wearing them. You're like, I'm scared. I don't want to ruin these and all that kind of, I was like, you know what? Bro, I saw a guy, he was wearing some new Yeezys yesterday, yeah? He's walking like, you know, normally the ball of your foot goes down first and you roll. (laughs) My guy's doing space trooper. (laughs) You got to do that, big man. I'm like, nah, it ain't worth it if I'm going to be walking around like this, Your sister the other week, she's wearing new Jordans and she's got like instep. And I was like, oh, I never realized you have an instep. And she's like, nah, I just don't want to crease (laughs) things. Bro, you (laughs) see Man. Nah, nah, scary. Trust, bro. It's, nah. I mean, if you're spending a lot of money on shoes, like you're gonna have yeah. to protect them. Bruh. So if someone's trying to step on them, like no, what's, you can't the, what's yeah. the most you guys spent on kicks? Damn, she looked like she spent like eight hundred bucks. <laughs> <Yeah. right? laughs> she was embarrassed. I don't talk about it. <laughs> the most I've spent is five fifty. Oh, that's not that bad. Hmm. That's not bad. Five fifty. Oh, that's that's what shoes? What, what shoes? They were Jordans. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. Do you Definitely. wear them? No, like honestly, like I've worn them probably mm. like. Because they're a color that's hard to match yeah, to things. Yeah, yeah, I knew it. Uh, what? Yes. It's always like that. It's like these are so nice, but I don't know what to wear them with because I'll repeat the same outfit. Yeah. Oh, exactly. see, man, that, I know nothing. I'm pretty sure the most I've spent on shoes is probably going to be like two thirty or something like that. Yeah. yeah. That's decent. That's like retail price. Yeah. Oh, word. You see, I don't know. Oh, so you paid, you paid uh, retail. <laughs> yeah. Nah, I'm even mad. I've been trying to cop these same um, Red Octobers. I think they're called. No, 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 no. no. Chicago, sorry. Chicago, um, Chicago ones. Yeah, big, big man. I got them last week. What are you saying? Oh, is that? Is that right? Yeah, what are you saying? What are you saying? What are you I saying? might have to pull up to your house, bro. <laughs> no, it's size eight. Size eight? Yeah, I range from eight to 12. <laughs> <laughs> wait, how are you a size eight, man? Wait, hold on. Did we just, yeah, wait. Sorry, no, no, I said, I said. <laughs> 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 nah, that's I said, trust it. Oh, man. Yeah, no, I've been trying to cop them for time, man. But like every time that I've tried it, literally within two minutes, it's sold out. I'm like, this is not normal. Yeah. Like, I, I was like, oh, who's really going to be awake? Like, who's really <laughs> who's really online trying yeah. to get these shoes like me right now? Fam, two minutes Very gone. Oh, like, it's not even people at this point. It's just like bots and yeah, all that mm, thing. Literally. Jeez, man. I had an interesting question I wanted to ask everyone at you today. Oh, well, before we go, how are you? Oh, t- we I got swear to we ask did. Her, how she oh, you guys, no, you guys are hey. horrible people. All right, so, so Carlos is. pulled up like, <laughs> we said we said 4.30 we shoot, oh yeah? My God. I pull up at 4.00. Set up the new studio, all this kind of thing. Mm. Daniel Mar will come in for twenty. <laughs> all right. Mm. Sherry rocks up for thirty, like we asked. Yep. Oh yeah. All right, let's, uh, uh, let's, let's, let's hold it against her. Yeah? <laughs> nah. She starts helping us set up. <laughs> now, nah, hey, you man, and start setting up. Fam. Uh, okay, like fine. Up. Then Carlos pulls up out of nowhere, like <sighs> five. <sighs> Five o'clock. Yeah, pretty much, eh? We're just horrible people. But so yeah. how are you? How yeah, are you? Nah, I'm good. No I'm cap good. I asked. Thanks. Thanks. Uh, nah, I, <laughs> nah, when I came, I said, how you doing, bro? Yeah, yeah you see, come on. Yeah. No, you're good? Yeah. No, it's just you. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> you, have a, you have a crazy day? <laughs> nah, it was good. It was chilled. Man. That's yeah, what I like. Black Saturday. That's what we That's like. Good. That's what I like. Like, everyone's yeah. getting back into that chill vibe, which kind of leads mm-hmm. into what I'm actually curious to hear about uh, from y'all. Okay. So this week, I was thinking about something, right? I'll tell you my answer after mm-hmm. I ask you guys first. So obviously, you know, everyone's getting a bit more excited now. We're all out and about. You know what I mean? The sun decided to come out. You know what I'm saying? Apparently, we're, uh, you know, COVID-free in Victoria. Come yeah, on, apparently, bro. everything I say is apparently now. Nothing's <laughs> facts anymore for me, yeah? So allegedly, we're corona-free <laughs> here, yeah? So I'm thinking, what would you guys have done different, like, if you knew, like, this was going to happen this year? Like, what would you have done different, let's say, at the start of the year? Let's, you know, your January, February, and we, mm-hmm. like half of March. What would you have done different? Or gone to yeah you know yeah what well, what well, yeah I'll leave it at that let me not start to put things in your mind oh, yeah I got my answer I don't know. Wait, whoever has answer go first got something go first huh? bro I feel like I would have traveled a little bit more because mm-hmm. we did do like a crew big crew thing yeah like yeah in late I forgot Jan. that was this yeah, year yeah yeah it's been a long year that was like late Jan yeah. but yeah I would have just up not working February. <laughs> <laughs> just chilled the whole time, yeah? Yeah, yeah. All right, cool, cool. I forget, like, I've had time to think about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, like in my head, I'm like, damn, you guys, not that hard. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are so boring. <laughs> <laughs> right, you can tell us yours then. Uh, to be honest. No, nah, no, nah, I don't want to say it yet. I don't think I would have done anything different. I'll influence this guy, I reckon. Yeah? I don't think I would have done anything different. Mm. Yeah. It I know something you would have done different. Mm. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. I'll say it because that's my answer yeah, too. We don't know. We don't know. I'll say it. I'll say it <laughs> too. You, you think I know what you <laughs> would have done different yeah. for sure. We us yeah. three. Wait, all of us three? Us yeah. three. Wow. 
<laughs> what? <laughs> All right, we're 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 know we're after. We don't know what's happening. Um, I probably would have started something like a side hustle. I reckon. Mm. Yeah. Word. Don't know in what, but yeah, I would, I was, have would that have been sure. obviously it would have been something that would still be sustained during what we just yeah, went yeah, through, yeah. though, or, or something you'd like, be I interested would hope in. So. Uh, yeah. Definitely something I'm interested in, but also, well, I wouldn't have known that this would have happened. So I would nah, have thought about. Now, but if we knew, oh, so that's the thing. We knew that like, this was going to go yeah, down. Yeah, we had inside oh, information yeah, 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 from yeah. the big boys yeah. and that oh, about what was going to go down. Now, yeah, kosher properly, bro. <laughs> oh, so well. if we knew that, yeah, 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 bro, come <laughs> on, man. <laughs> guys, I would take advantage of everything. Bro. I was yeah, what, like what? Huh? What would you have done? So, uh, he doesn't understand what you're saying. No, no, I get it. I get it. So, are you talking about investing? Yeah. Oh, that's the answer. That's what I knew. You definitely oh, would have done different. I knew. Okay, ah, yeah, right. yeah. Investing in what? Huh? Investing in what? I'm just investing in general. Uh, okay. Nah, I know exactly <laughs> what we should have invested in if yeah, we knew yeah. this was coming. Because obviously, when this happened, yeah, a lot of like the stock market went down. Yeah. Mm. So if you invested then and then you sell now, you would have made like bank. Should have mm. invested right. in Zoom. That's exactly <laughs> fam. I would have wow. invested, in nah. bro. For sure, bro. You know how much I messed up with that. So I looked <laughs> yeah. at it at the start of, n- not even start. Like after everyone started using it, and I was mm. like, hmm, like it's a hundred something, probably at its peak now. So again yeah. at two hundred something, a couple months later, I was like, nah, no way. Like it's not even. It's not gonna go any higher. It's right? like four hundred seventy right yeah. now. Yeah. <laughs> what am I doing? You a chance, bro. Sure. I would have invested in Zoom yeah. or invested in Afterpay, or Netflix. I would have invested in all of them ones, Netflix, yeah, fam, yeah, yeah. all of that, yo. Because if I knew this was coming, because that's what some people did. Mm. A lot of these like government officials, because they were hearing all the, you know what I'm saying, wow. exactly. about what's going on. Yeah. And then hella investing, fam. I would have done that because the come up from yeah. this would have been crazy. Yeah. That's true. What's yeah, your? I feel like I would have started like working towards making a business, knowing that I'm going to be home oh, all yeah. the time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, working still, so but better. yeah, definitely similar yeah. to my like start a side hustle. Damn, man. Actually, let's get into what you do because the whole the girls that thing that started this year, right? Yeah, that's that was only this year, crazy. April. But this is the thing, right? Like that's what I would have wanted to start at the start of the year. But it's yeah. COVID that pushed me to start. Yeah. Mm. So that's yeah. That's so that. what I do basically is that's I'm it. trying to you know empower girls yeah. to rock their curls because I hated mine growing up. Same. So just to kind of make. Them well, did this guy say same? Oh, We're yeah. just gonna brush past the same. <laughs> yeah, yeah, hold on. Sorry, your point's brighter than my future. Right? <laughs> 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 man, man. She gets to roast. <laughs> oh man. It's love, it's cause we're the same. <laughs> oh man. But that's dope. Yeah, yeah. I was see, I was gonna, you know, let's let's wait for it. But like honestly, I didn't realize it was this year that that like you started that. Yeah, fight. it was okay. only this year, so a couple of months now. I'm hoping, you know, to turn that into a business, mm. not just, you know, a page, but hopefully like a blog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe a podcast, you know. Hello. Yeah, that's, um, that's dope. So, yeah, developing it slowly. But that's, that's yeah, just want to show them they're more than they're here, which is something I'm still learning. So, yeah. Because it's pretty sick because I, I remember you started and I was like, oh, friend starting something, mm. I'll follow. Mm, yeah. And then now it's like out of nowhere, the following picked up quite a mm. bit. And mm, it's like, mm, I went on your channel. She can't even say no. Yeah. That's when you know it's true. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, no, guys, She's like, yeah, you're right. Man, yeah. People will tell us, yo, your podcast speaking up. Like, hey, shh. Yeah, quiet, allow, just allow. Relax, relax, relax. Nah, nah, guys. My goal was like 2,000 by the end of the year. So, yeah, when it picked yeah. up, I was like, what are you at now? Four, now it's 13K. Oh. Wow. And it started in April. That's great. Because so, I went on yeah. recently and it's like people I know that like I went to school with or whatever that I don't. Think they would know you? Yeah. Are following you. Mm. And I was like, that's wild. Like yeah. that's Yeah. It's it's, it's getting crazy. around, like for real, for real. Damn. Mm. And Just, this was the craziest part, right? So I'm on TikTok <laughs> a while ago. <laughs> Going through my phone because I posted one. I was like, I went viral. I went viral. Fifty thousand views or whatever it was. Yes. Right? <laughs> now don't don't no hide me, bro. Don't hide me, bro. bro, bro, bro. bro. I'm just yes. scrolling through my yes. thing. Dude, this guy basically just said, hey, "Don't talk to him no more." Yeah. <laughs> wait, oh yeah. Wait. In a group chat, this guy's name is Fame. In one of the group chats. <laughs> That one TikTok. <laughs> what a celebrity guy. So, <laughs> so I'm on TikTok. Right? I'm just scrolling through the funny thing, high Arabic thing, Christian thing, whatever. Right? I'm like, hey, but that's Sherry. <laughs> That's Sherry. I click on your nine million views. Wow. Whoa, 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 whoa. I wow. said, bro, that's actually viral. That was insane. Like literally I posted it. Then my cousin sends me a text and he's like, dude, your video's gone viral. I'm like, what do you mean? It was like my second video to post Damn. on TikTok. Huh. So <laughs> 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 my second one did a thousand. <laughs> so it was, your, it was just curls. 
<laughs> yeah, it was just me doing my curls. Yeah. Um, and yeah, it blew up Damn. and I was like, this is mm. insane. Mm. But you know what? It, like my brother said this thing to me and I think it's so true. It hits a number and you don't care. Really? Like you start to realize, man, this is nothing. Like you just look at it. It's like, cool, nine million views, but what Damn. then? Nah, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm trying to have that first. I'm trying to celebrate the whole year, bro. Bro, <laughs> what? No one is not here. Bro, on my resume for yes, sure. Yeah. Every time I look up with y'all, yo, you'll see my video now. Now I'm here, bro. Now I'm here, bro. Oh, man. So, why do you think people follow that? Yeah, facts, actually. This is interesting. Um, I think for the longest time, there was no one to show us, like, how to do our hair or even praise it or celebrate it. It was always like, just straighten it. And that video, I think the audio on that is, I don't need to straighten my hair to be pretty. Yeah. I've seen that's that. Nice. So, yeah. And that's something I think like in the curl community, you'll talk to anyone, they felt the need to straighten their hair, you know, growing up or relax it or whatever it is. Um, so to see that, I think it just helps. Like I still get a lot of young girls messaging me. Like I still hate my hair. How do I stop straightening it? So I reckon it was relatable. Mm. That's probably True. why people connected to it. Mm. Damn, Serve a need. If you're able to come up with your own like product or something, it's gonna go yeah, well. Yeah, someone that pitched that to me actually. Yeah. Like chemistry, mm, not my field. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like I don't want to make something, then their hair falls off the next day. <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> definitely something like. But I that'd be pretty cool because because yeah. they will listen to you. They'll be like, "Yeah, right, I'm trying to get my yeah. hair like that. I'll follow that. Whatever you recommend, I'm gonna buy that." Yeah, in the next couple of years, definitely would love to maybe try uh, formulating. I was saying like the place I used to work at stuff, they did all cosmetic mm. brands and stuff. Yeah. So if you if you want to listen to the connect, <laughs> hey, yeah, no, like legit. The connection. Hey, is this with royalties or like you just, huh? just yeah. <laughs> <laughs> send, send the invoice later? Manage it? <laughs> no, man. No, because it is it is crazy, like because you do something that you just wanna just do. Because we were talking even Amelia that came onto our podcast about what was that two episodes, three episodes ago or something. She started her own thing as well, just because she wanted to. And it picked up, you know. I mean, people are like yeah. feeling it like this is oh wow, like I, I like this. I, I relate with this. And it's like, it's so crazy just how something that you are just like either passionate about or um, interested in, you don't realize just how many other people are also feeling the same way about that thing. But yeah. you don't, where do you see these people? Like, where do you, where do you find people? Where do you meet these kind of people around, you know? Like, where, where, how do you know that this is actually what's on other people's minds and stuff like yeah. that? Like, curls. I would not yeah. have thought in a million years. I mean, obviously, I don't have curls. <laughs> but if I did you it... You got yeah. coils. <laughs> coils, is it? I see. I don't even know the science to that. Yeah. But I would never have thought in a million years to, like, oh, yeah, let me start something for other people to also, re- yeah. you know, see, like, okay, lo- you know, love love yourself and, oh, this is how you actually manage it and stuff like that. It's quite... It's wild. Because yeah, little things matter now. Yeah, they you do. You get me? Like, yeah. those little things, like, again, with Amelia, you know, just Bible verses, things get to do with the Bible... It matters, you know, things get to do with hair curls. It matters. Mm. You get me? It's a good niche. Like, it's you find your yeah. niche. It's, yeah. it's not, I don't know, my starting bald head page? No one tells you how much money you, you spend being bald. <laughs> oh, this guy's silly. Shut up. Why don't you do beard? Yeah, Once you, you do beard. You can do. I have to do beard. What am I going to do? Man said bald and beautiful, bro. Oh, he's bald. Some hunt. So I got like three. Electrical appliances for yeah, what you got the rate, the full fit, skin yeah, yeah, shave, yeah, yeah. all that kind of thing, all this wow, kind of yeah. stuff. And then now you obviously got to go to the bar before your beard instead because, yeah. like, that has that's the only thing got yeah, going yeah. for you, <laughs> bro. When your forehead and your hair like start social distancing, <laughs> social distancing. it's finished. <laughs> <laughs> the wall is because why you have the best beard. <laughs> oh, nah, I but think that, it's like you could do pretty, something with that too. You, hey, you it's full sure. as well. Talk it to is, you. It's full. Get a little curls on the beard and that. You guys can do products for hair, curls, yeah. and beards. Mm. Bro, what are you saying? Curly beards. Um, yeah. You know, I was, just, <laughs> I was just saying, like, it's pretty interesting because I follow your page, and even though, like, I don't have curls, you know, and our hair textures, um, probably most likely different and all. I still, when I watch your videos, you know, it is very empowering because then I think of my own hair because you're like, oh, rock your natural curls, rock your natural hair. And I'm like, okay, I'm not rocking my natural hair today, obviously. <laughs> so <laughs> underneath, no. thank you. It is underneath just because, you know, I'm protecting it and all. But like, it is very empowering. And I feel like we're kind of like at a time where it's like, Everyone's encouraging each other, you know, whether it's your skin color, whether it's your body, whether it's your hair, whatever it is. So when people see something like that, even if you 
can't relate. Like we were saying before, you know, people are watching it because they can relate and stuff. Even if you can't, you still get drawn to it because it's mm. like, okay, this person's really embracing their hair. They're really – and your videos are fun. Like they're funny as well, you know. They're fun. You've got like, you know, voices and everything yeah. just going and you're pretty too. So it's like – you really draw people into it, which is I, I think it's Don't just great. Yeah. Well, you be having you be having mad fun making them videos, huh? Yeah, they so look like fun. fun. So yeah, cool, yeah. 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 it's a lot of fun. Yeah. I was gonna yeah. ask, like, do you feel a pressure though to create content and oh, like yeah. I have to get two videos or three videos out a week mm. or mm. that kind of thing? Or do you feel that? Yeah, definitely. Because if you don't have a bank of content, like mm. not every weekend you want to get up and like, eight <laughs> hours true. of filming yeah. for thirty second videos, like. Damn. But um. True. Oh yeah, because your hair's like washing, oh, yeah. drying. So it's like a process. Oh, so you gotta have like nothing on that. Day. <laughs> yeah, you, like literally yeah, nothing right. on that. Day. Oh wow. Yo, because we're watching like yeah, yeah. but you've like seconds. you've like done the all of that. Yep. You yeah. know what I oh, mean? No way. And like you put this in and left it in like a leaving condition or something <laughs> for the <laughs> whole day, <laughs> and we. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we're like, hold on, you can get kills in five minutes. <laughs> Bro, I didn't even think about that, man. Yeah, so there is, is there's crazy. a lot of pressure. Yeah, there's levels to it's it. It's fun. You've got to be committed and yeah, stay yeah. true to what you're doing. But yeah. You know what I find interesting then? It's like, why, how come we don't have, like, what is it about our society that just doesn't make people feel like they can just do them? Do them yeah. mm. You know? Mm. Like, how come it takes someone having to, like, try to step out and do something like what you've done? Before everyone else is like, oh, yeah, like, all right, cool. Like, all right, I can love it, myself. It's, it's almost normal. like, why do I have to see you have confidence to do it in order for me to have myself. confidence? I think especially, though, with physical appearance things, guys don't feel that to the same extent. I feel like girls definitely feel pressure way more from way earlier as well. Like, you oh. should look like this or like this instead. What have yeah. you done? <laughs> Keep is talking. picking up good? Yeah, it's yeah. all right. I mean, cons like, considering the fact that guys, you know, physical appearance is the main thing that they kind of go for as well. Like most guys, mm -hmm. you get me. Whereas for girls, they might be like, oh, personality. But no guy says personality, <laughs> right? <laughs> you get what? me? Huh? <laughs> nah, like, nah, like legit. Speak for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> most guys, yeah. yeah. Let's not lie here, boys. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? And girls know this as well. They know that the first thing that guys look for is, you know. Apparently. Yeah. Physical, Yeah. Physical appearance, mm. you get me? But again, it's not the same vice versa, right? So I can understand why girls now, it's like, okay, cool. I need to, I want to look a certain way to attract. Whereas guys, it's like, yeah, right, I don't need to look like that. My confidence will speak for itself. Mm. My ability to be funny, my personality, you get me? But but that's why I can draw them. What or why was the, because you don't always rock the curls, yeah? Mm -mm. What was the tipping point that you were like, I'm um. us? <laughs> it was <Mr>. actually <laughs> <laughs> like to change from straightening to yeah. curls. Someone actually said to me, I'm not going to see you this day if you don't wear them like curly. And I was so upset and I was like, okay, fine. And ever like since that day, everyone would just be like, no, keep at it. Like it looked disgusting. One hair was like this. <laughs> <laughs> it was so damaged. Yeah. And then they just said, nah, keep going. And then that's when I found bloggers and people yeah. that made me empowered. And then I saw how they went from like <laughs> insanity to curls. <laughs> 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 so that's what pushed me to like, all right, keep going. That was literally that one conversation just started it. Yeah. Yeah. I think what? What female celebs, like famous ones, have rocked the curly hair? There's a lot of influences now, but celebs. Mm. Y'all got that straight hair, you know? Mm. That's what I mean. Like, even if they have curls, it's they don't rock straight. it. Yeah. And I feel like mm. that's like your question, like what yeah. makes them feel not able to? It was there was no representation. Why is that such a thing, man? I actually never what? realized how crazy it is. Like, what? is it just because of the maintaining? It's like, is that why a lot of people just didn't want, like, don't rock? Oh, maintenance is big too, but I feel like it was the fact that we didn't see anyone like yeah. doing Word. it. Yeah. So you but don't think it's pretty? Because even maintenance, like I, I was, I don't know how it works, but like yeah. maintenance, <laughs> <laughs> but like maintenance is gonna go both ways. Ooh. So if you're always straightening it, yeah. is that's maintenance. That's the same amount of time as nah, nah. Trust me, right? it's, it's, it's two seconds, yeah. bro. Yeah. No, 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 straightening your hair <laughs> takes a long time. Yeah. 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 Said I wouldn't. Like, is it? Takes hours. I see girls doing twice. That's it. I said twice. Doing every day. Yeah. Yeah. Damn, man. I'm trying to figure out what I can do to help empower people like that, man. No, yeah, obviously. Yeah, and that's a good question. What can we or like other people do to kind of like show support in what you do? Um, yeah, like I actually have a lot of girls that say like they'll see guys and they'll tell them I prefer straight hair on girls. Bro. Those things I think literally. That? Yeah, but I know. <laughs> Apparently someone, right? <laughs> I mean, is that wrong though? Wow. 
to say you prefer. If, if it's not like if it's unprovoked, yeah. Well, what, what made you go? Ah, I prefer. But it's like if they're sitting in front of you with curls. Yeah. Yeah. That's what yeah. I was gonna say. <laughs> That's kind of yeah. mad to be I like, yeah. What you don't have. No, no, legit. You're out with someone, yeah, <laughs> and they clearly don't have this straight hair that apparently you prefer. And you're I love like, when people don't have a stutter, and it's like, damn man, I stutter. Yeah, you know, you know what I mean. Yeah. And you, you, you really, you call out on that thing right in front. <laughs> I can admit, yes, no, it makes sense if you know the rocking yeah. down, then you say that. But if it's just a general conversation and someone says, yeah, right, I think. This is on that whole yeah, thing I of all this look, preference talk as well. Yeah, I mean, yeah. What, what, I mean, what is wrong with preference too? Nothing. I think Nothing. if you have a relationship with someone, it's fine. Like if you're like, you know my heart. Yeah, like uh, this person's like, I prefer this race of people, whatever. But we actually know each other. It's like, cool. What does like that you, mean? Oh, as a, as yeah, a, as but it's like, if you don't know me, yeah, and you're like, oh, I hate Arabs. Like as, as people, yeah, like. Yeah. No, like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't yeah, want to be yeah. friends with that or something. I'll be like... <laughs> How did we get here? Hold on. Yeah, wait, 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 yeah, wait, hold on, hold on. Yeah, it makes what sense. Nah, nah, we're talking about purpose. Help me out, help me out, help me out. We're talking about purpose. Right. This guy's saying I had right. right. Me and Daniel hang out right now, yeah? yeah Just yeah. us two. Yeah. We know each other. We're at this relationship with each other, yeah? And he goes, I find it hard to deal with Arab people in the workplace. I wouldn't be offended with that. Because I'd be like... I know he doesn't dislike Arabs. Yeah. He just finds it hard to deal with them. Yeah. Like he's yeah. saying. <laughs> <laughs> but if it's the first time we meet and he goes, and he finds out I'm Arab and then he goes, oh, I find it hard to deal with that. What? What's up with that? What's yeah. up with that? You know, well, you don't see the difference? Nah, I see the difference, but I'm just saying like, you know, because this other, this other person, they've got a different experience too. You get me? I, I have met people where they've had negative experience with Africans and they told me straight up and I was like, yeah, right. That's not all of us though. And we had a good chat after that. So it was like, yeah, this guy's being honest, but he's not coming from a bad place. He got jumped by a certain group of people. So then now he has this perspective of who they are. Mm. You get me? So like, again, that's what's like, oh, if I do see them, I try to, you know, Whatever, whatever. If I have a preference, I prefer not to be friends with them because of what ha- what has happened to them. Mm. You get me? So that's, that's why I'm like, it's a tough one, though. Yeah. On the like relationship side, what? Because I, I always see all the time. Oh, so hold you, hold no, before you go, like you were saying, sorry, they mm. say like guys will straight up say to them, "What else is it?" Like, oh yeah, yeah let's see. Oh, that's okay. That's um, damn, that you can do it as guys or just in general? I guess. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. <laughs> you help me out. <laughs> I don't know what would make you feel like. Yeah, confident to wear your natural hair. I think. Oh, <laughs> Daniel's a oh, bad yeah, person. No, Dan- yeah. That is so rude. Oh, I, don't wanna wanna call Daniel, I don't want to call Daniel out. He's or just doing it all the time. Oh. Yeah, no, Daniel was always says he doesn't like. like Whoa, that. wait, what? No, 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 no I've never said that. <laughs> no, no, no. I blew my out here. Bro, you're a liar. Let's, let's no, be you're real. a liar. Bro, no, no, you're a liar. No, let us be cap. No, wait, you didn't even want to say it. I'm saying my natural hair. 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 Okay, like the week. You don't like that stuff. But even my natural hair, you know, sometimes I'm going to have bad days. And with curls as well, it's really hard to try and maintain. You know, some days all your curls aren't going to be in place or whatever. So it's like, don't call girls out and be like, oh, what's wrong with your hair? Like what's going on? It's looking bad, you know. Like I think if guys, especially like what you do now, at least you know guys will see and they'll actually see that it's a whole process in itself. So it's like don't just judge people straight away, you know. I yeah. think it, the comment is definitely one thing that if guys are actually like nicer and more considerate, like that would allow for people to be more confident. Like if if you guys just refrain from making. Hold on, do you reckon it's guys that's the problem? Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Well, I know what you're saying. You guys are oh, saying, you guys oh, I don't think it's guys the no, problem. No, it's a girl and girl thing. I don't, yeah, I, don't th- I, I, really, I actually don't think it's guys as the problem here. Because we never really hit women like that. We we'll never will. It's, you get it. It's going to be a douchebag that would. And how many yeah. would you meet? That's a lot. Yeah, there probably is a lot. <laughs> but, but, but to be honest, also, a lot of guys don't speak on these things. I feel, like, loud, yeah. I feel like from girl yeah. to girl. Yeah. Where's the you, energy? Yeah, girl, what are you doing? Like, if you meet up, I'm not going to be like, yeah, right, what's this? <laughs> <laughs> but deep inside, I'm like, yeah, right, bro. <laughs> hey, you, get out the photo. <laughs> Think about it. I'll take the photo. I feel like when another girl says it, though, we... I don't know. I don't know about you, but for me, sometimes I see it as like she's just looking out for you. Like, hey, girl. Like, you know. Yeah. Like, I don't you know. So I don't see it. But when a guy says it, because you guys don't know like what we have to go through with our hair and stuff, it's kind of like, okay, like why are you commenting on something you don't know about? No, it's He's true. <laughs> nah. Again, I just it's feel like a lot of guys don't comment on these things. I don't think guys are the main. Like, yeah. I really think it comes. She's got fourteen k followers about, so she's <laughs> she she's done much. Actually, about. do you ever get hate comments? Hair comments? Hate, hate. Oh, ha- yeah. How? Really? Yeah, wait, wait. What, Bro, what did okay. Because I was I mad. Understood. When people go on the internet, they're like, yeah, I'm going to leave something what, nasty. What, like, what do they say? Like, 
Yeah. Okay, so it's not on my page because I feel like I've really tried to make a community on yeah. there. Yeah. You That's know cool. it's not acceptable. Mm. But when I get shared by pages, which is actually how the page grew, mm. like the comments on there sometimes are like, ah, sh- she doesn't even have curls. Look how much she has to do to even get curls. And that's a really big thing, like yeah. in the natural hair community, wow. like rivalry against different textures. <laughs> and that's, that's actually girls. Yeah, like, that's, that's, yeah. that's on that's phone. That's girls against yeah. girls, not, not so much... Um, yeah, not so much guys uh, playing into that. that. What, what do you feel when you read that? I feel hurt, man. <laughs> 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 like, Bro. Do you, you don't know me. me. <laughs> nah, Charles, every, t- every time you think of that, I just think of your 9 million views. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, it would hurt because think of that. it's not oh, like yeah. it's a product or something. It's yeah. your hair. Yeah. Like, it's your yeah. hair that you're maintaining, that's that you're, you've grown out. So it's like... You just don't like how I look. Yeah, literally, that's what it is. Nah, because we're all trying to obviously empower each other, all curly queen, like, Coily, kinky, curly. Is that the gang? That's it? Yeah, that's yeah, the gang nah. gang. So, yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, look, there's a lot of reasons behind that. There's texturism. Yeah. There's all these things that play into it that are, you know, deep and heavy hitting subjects. So Fam. That's crazy. Okay, I just think we something's wrong with us as human beings, yeah? Love to How do we have all these isms? Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> there's too many. I only found out colorism last year. Mm. Like, like that's a thing that's within, a one. like within, um, like a race, yeah. Like yeah. people within the race, like obviously you knew that there's nuances and stuff that people say. You know, what I mean, like, bro, high school. Yeah, I'm, I'm not even that light skin. I was a little bit more in high school, yeah. But oh, this guy like all oh, dark skin, bro. Mm. Like two a.m. to some of my homies, and I'm not gonna lie, I might have, fr- I might have flamed this guy sometimes too. Right? Yeah, you know what I mean? The guy comes at midnight. <laughs> <laughs> but these things, like we would be saying, like yeah. I didn't realize that that because it's. Sure, it comes from a place, a, a certain point of view, maybe, you know, that we don't realize. But when we say it to each other, it's love. there's no ill intent, actually. Yeah. I don't know. I trust us. <laughs> <laughs> but for some people, they turn that into a, like, this is me and my side now. Yeah. And anyone that is not like this, it's like, bro, that's not even, how is this a thing yeah, yeah. to have a, that much of a difference that you're going to speak on it against someone? It's like, we don't want to be happy or something, man. That's crazy, fam. Isms, man. Humans are weird. Damn. Yeah, so yeah. texturism is, is a... Yeah, but that's like all part of the political correctness. I yeah. agree. Like, there's no line. If you don't... Like, if it's here, if it's that texturism, suddenly you're offending someone on this and then this. And yeah. then it just becomes we can't say anything and it's just terrible. But, yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot that goes into it. It's very deep for people. So, like, yeah. to yeah. as well, like, you nah, you shouldn't get offended to them. It's like, ah, but my whole life I've grown up yeah. like A, B, C, D, E. Yeah. Okay. Can you pick out, like, people's... You know, like, the hair has... Codes, I don't, you know, like <laughs> that's a C yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Can you pick it out? Like, like yeah, oh, this is that. We'll see. Is it? Let's say C four. What's the? Uh... <laughs> so it starts like at two A, and that's basically straight hair. But then like two B is like a bit of a wave. Two C is a little bit more of a wave. Then you go into three A, and that's like a bit curved. So I have three A, three B, mm-hmm. and then you go three C, a bit tighter. Then you go four A, that's like super tight. Bro, He's got four C. Same. He's the end of the spectrum. Like, <laughs> is it? <laughs> <laughs> you need you need to start a business it's today with this with this info, bro. <laughs> never never seen anyone break it down like that, bro. Yeah. Oh, Thanks. so mine's on, I'm on the end of the spectrum. Yeah, yeah, is yeah. It? You okay, really interesting. Really there's no winning here. <laughs> See, you're the problem. No, I, I was like, oh, interesting. Like, I, like, I didn't know, man. I saw. I thought this gets worse than this, like in, in terms of naughtiness. Nah, come on, it's beautiful. Bro, it's tight, all right, tight, man. Tight. Nah, come, come, man. Mm. There, nah, there was wild. yeah, there was something that you put up, and I'm just on your page now. Stalker, you changed your hair color just Facts. recently. Facts, actually, important that. Tell us what was that all about? What happened? What was the thought process like? What's ah oh, man, I was blonde for three years, three to four years, and it just started becoming like every time I wanted to dye it back to my natural. Which especially like if I'm telling people, you know, embrace yourself, it yeah, yeah. Kind of, uh, yeah. embrace yourself, but do it bleach blonde. Like <laughs> it wasn't really adding up, yeah. and I started to think, nah, I want to go back to my natural for health mm-hmm. as well. But you know, just to start embracing and being okay with it, because yeah. I really thought I could only rock it if it's blonde. If it's like, blonde, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then so when I started wanting to do that, people would be like, no, it's your look. Like, mm-hmm. how could you change mm-hmm. it? So iconic. This, this, that. You started your page now. Yeah. So I started feeling like. I can't ever change my hair. <laughs> <laughs> and natural. bleach blonde yeah. is expensive. So That's I, amazing. yeah, look, I one day was like, nah, had enough. Yeah. I'm going to yeah. do it. Mm-hmm. And the reaction has been really, really nice. Like, I was scared. Some people would be like, I'm hopping up. I don't want to be on this page anymore. Because <laughs> I think every time I've seen you, like, it's always just been like, Blonde. Yeah. And then I walked in. I was like, "Bro, who is this?" <laughs> <laughs> That's oh. not her. <laughs> I'm not her. I was like, "No, you still get a sherry on, bro." <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Damn, man. <laughs> I don't know about y'all, yeah, but yeah, I but used, I used that's to be, bad. I used to think like, like bleaching your hair. Because let's say, I think girls maybe started doing it in high school, like maybe year nine. That's probably the first time I saw someone bleach their hair. Oh, yeah, facts. I was like, yo, this sounds dangerous. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. Your hair oh, is that actually? Yeah. Is it actually bleach? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's like, wait, are you thinking like cleaning clean, bleach? Clean. Lorox? I don't know. <laughs> Man said, Mr. Like Clean. Mixed in with a little oh, Mr. Clean. clean. She's not my. <laughs> yeah, me too, me too. <laughs> Yo. Whatever you say, I'm believing. Yeah. Yeah, but people do home jobs. Like, I get Ooh. horror stories in my DMs. Like, bro, I tried to bleach my hair your color and my hair. I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> bro, that's not funny. <laughs> Nah, it's terrible. People don't want to spend, like, it's expensive. Yeah. Right? So they so think, let me do a home job, and then they have uh, So what's the proper way of doing that? I'd say go to a professional salon. Mm. Someone that's experienced. You've Get seen your money them. up. You've seen them do Let it. Let your money up. Yeah. Um, yeah. Damn. Nah, How often did you have to, like, read Um, I went every stuff. six months, but then mm-hmm. past year I went every eight weeks, so my Ooh. bank account was crying. <laughs> oh, my. Yeah, it's heavy maintenance. Bruv, it just sounds dangerous, man. I had a friend scared. that used to always yeah. dye her hair, like all the time, like every month or something. Yeah, uh, and well. it, like, it felt like a mop. At some yeah, point. And no, then she, what do you mean? Like it just, you know, like the hair just dies. Mm. Is it a thing? Yeah, no, well, that's what it felt like. <laughs> okay, and then she just like Fam. let it go. Yeah, because yeah. obviously I've never dyed my hair. Pretty much, yeah. I just get a fade, um, <laughs> and that's that's it for my experience yeah. at the at the barbers. And I don't even go barbers anymore. I do it myself now. Anyway, you see? Yeah? So I oh, don't worry about it now, right? Now. <laughs> Not right now, yeah. So when people dye their hair, right, they bleach it first and then color it to that color that they want. Yeah. Mm. Isn't yeah. this true? So I had to triple bleach. Then, then like you get- Nah, it's white. long. <laughs> yeah. 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 Triple bleach. You're living yeah. at the salon. Triple That's why my hair's so short now. I had to literally like, it was done. It off. Yeah. It's even split ends, it took me a while before. I, to be honest, I'm capping. I don't even know what that is now. Hey, what, hey, what is a split ends, bro? <laughs> Yo. I talk to girls, they're like, oh, yeah, I had to come a split Every ends. day at school. And you know, you yeah. see them, they're always yeah. doing yeah. this. You see this every that was the most disgusting. Yeah. Just the girl in the back of psychology. It's <laughs> always the ones in psychology yeah. class. I don't know why. I, I, I was like, bro, what are you doing? I just cleaned up some loose ends. Yeah. <laughs> they said loose ends. Bro, this isn't, That's this isn't, what's it? What's that movie, bro? What's that movie with the Robert De Niro or something, man? Yeah, uh, this isn't. Yeah, what's uh, it called, bro? Irish, yeah, this isn't the Irishman. Nah, 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 nah. Split nah, nah. ends. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> but but they're talking mad. This guy, like I said, psychology. Bro, yeah. Cutting yeah. Come on, man. You know psychology this. or HHD, bro. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what that was. <laughs> I didn't do psych. I didn't do psych. Bro. So yeah, well, all of that, like, yeah. damn, that's nice man, sense. that's mad, fam. Bro, you don't realize what people be going through yeah. with some yeah. little things like that. Actually, true. We we actually don't know what is. Like what people go through in general, fat. Oh, well, what do you want to say? You go, you go, your topic. Because yesterday, yeah, I was acting hot, right? Skateboard and that. Uh, Might have stacked, bro. Uh, my wrists have been like out of action the whole day. Both wrists. Um, I was at work. I couldn't do anything. Like simple things that I would normally be lifting. I'm doing with the back of my palms and like lifting up. <laughs> Fam. The I didn't only re- reason this is funny is because the way he stacked, <laughs> he got up. He was like, yeah, that's cool. It's cool. I, didn't, I wasn't hurt then. I wasn't. I was only hurt this morning. I started, got up. I'm not hurt. Bro, I I'm was driving hurt. this morning. I'm like, whoa. Oh, like wow. this is painful, man. Bro, there are people that like all the time. That's Very their nice. wrist situation, yeah. fam. I'm like, yo, I'm dead ass yeah, taking yeah, yeah. every little thing for, for granted. granted, man. I was, yeah, I was this morning gardening, whatever, and then I'm like, I'm so grateful both my parents are alive. Because, like, you know, you know people that they lost their parents when they were really young. And it's like, yeah, it's such yeah. a little thing, but it's like, that's such an experience that's so, like, oh, yeah, we're going to be able to resonate, you know, unless you go through it. And I was like, such a little thing that you just take for granted. Yeah. Sure. But I know you almost cried. I cried. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bad, because someone today was even like, "Oh yeah, I'm turning this this um this old next year," and then like, "Oh, my parents are turning this." I'm like, "Oh, my parents are turning fifty next year." Like, "Well, your parents are young." I'm like, yeah. "No, bro, they sound they sound old, man." Like, bro, I'm fifty, and I was like, "Fam, I was I was feeling I it, man." That they're getting old. They're yeah. getting old. That's not cool. Sure. Like that's that's, that's rude. That's, yeah. <laughs> that's rude. That's, that's by thing. far my favorite thing about this year. Like what? this whole lockdown. I spent so much time with my parents. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Especially my dad. There was like a three week period. We watched a movie every night. Word. <laughs> every night. I, think I, I don't know. He was bored as well. And he's like, hey, you put something on in Prime or whatever. And I'm like, All right, Did he stay awake? That's the question. Yeah. Cause, oh, oh, yeah. Cause, I, Cause I know someone in this room. Yeah. That there was, they had a movie now with their dad. Their dad passed out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he knows you. <laughs> this guy killed me. He sent a snap. Yeah. Zooming oh, yeah. in. He's like, damn dad. I thought this is a movie night. <laughs> 
But Pop say, yeah, also, you try to watch us, yeah, word, bro. <laughs> Put a good movie. Bro. You, you know, they try to do 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 Yeah. I look. Yes. That, <laughs> I was like, bro, I'm trying to spend some time with you, big man. He'll do that. But that's true, man. Like, <laughs> anything, little things like that. Like, I didn't even. Yeah, packs, bro. Bro, I've, I've never had to think about a split end in my, in my life, fam. Fam, if I have a problem, I'm shaving my ting bald. Speaking it's gone. of traumatic experiences. Yeah. Oh, what happened to you, man? Okay. I think we all have a shared trauma. Okay. Uh, like all of us have all had the us. same experience. Was everyone scared of Michael Jackson oh as a child? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I definitely was. Till this day. Yep. So, I don't know. I sent a meme around or whatever. And this guy goes, Mike, it was of Michael Jackson. And he goes, bro, Michael Jackson low-key scary. And I remember Wait, what did I kid, say I was him. terrified of the Really? Guy. My mom told me stories. She, you know, like, pop star, all this thing. She's like, oh, they got snakes in his house and all the furniture's black. I, I don't even know if it's true. I just must have been a church thing that went around or whatever. That went around. And I remember I was watching an episode of Fear Factor. We were living in America mm. at the time. Watching an episode of Fear Factor. And um, I think this was around the time all the allegations and all the stuff right. with him, right? Which, oh, whatever. And the Fear Factor episode, they were like, eating cockroaches or something. So I was already like terrified. Oh, yeah, yeah, and yeah. then they go like on the news, breaking news, all stuff. And it's Michael's face, but it's like the white Michael mm. with like oh, the yeah. nose job and everything. And I was like, ah! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's like stuck. <laughs> you know that one photo of Michael Jackson that's like, it's like. Yeah. Damn, I'm, bro. I'm terrified. Proper Wait, terrified? Why? The way he looks, terrified. what he's done. No, no, I, I don't even know if I believe all the, what he's done thing, yeah, yeah. but just it's just that one photo of how he looks. You want to pull it up? <laughs> oh, we get it. You got a new phone, man. Right. <laughs> we get it. We get it. Just show it. Right, right, yeah, there's something about his white Michael Jackson face that is just. Oh no! You know, I don't know what it is. I can never put. Oh, yep. Nah. Mm. I can just. Oh, it's <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Y'all are rude. We're right. bad people. <laughs> Y'all are rude. It's not that we're bad. It's just something about it. It just doesn't sit right with my soul. I just can't. <laughs> Damn, I really man. Can't. There's this. Wait, I don't. Because y'all don't watch that. I don't know if you guys watch that Lana. Watch Atlanta? No. no. Did you oh, watch Atlanta? Atlanta? No. No. There's this um the one that <laughs> Ma was terrified to this day. It was meant to be kind of like loosely based on Michael Jackson, right? Mm. I don't know if I sent you a snap. Well, did I send yeah, you a Snapchat yeah, of it? I, think you did. I literally only sent her a Snapchat of me just watching it. Mm. Freaked out. Mm. <laughs> she freaked out yeah. over this face. And it's, yeah, the guy is like kind of I'll show you. I'll show you. Wait, wait. Oh, let me you have a, like full skin reconstruction. It was, the, the guy literally just has a mask on, yeah? Oh, man, what's it? I forgot the name already again now, man. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. Teddy Perkins, that's the name. There we go, there we go. All right, does this scare you? Yeah, a bit. Damn. <laughs> that's, I'm uncomfortable. I don't yeah, I'm, I'm a bit uncomfortable. The camera won't be able to see that. I'm going to have to just pop it on the thing. Oh, yeah, that's, that's does that scare you? It's got a it's creepy element weird. to it. Man, I don't know why that... Is it me that, that made us all scared of this man or so what? Sad. There's someone that looks like that out there in the world and we're just like, oh, that's scary. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> so you're nice. telling me you were terrified of Michael Jackson <laughs> growing up, bro? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know about y'all, photo man. of him dangling his kid off the balcony. And all I don't know. know I that. Yeah, you with the um, towel over the kid's yeah, head? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, it's what in the world was going on oh, there? Yeah, I didn't see anything. Yeah, I was sheltered. I honestly yeah. think I didn't see anything that was going on That's why when you said it, I was like, I don't know how to answer this. Yo. Yeah, these guys are, you guys are scared of Michael Jackson. I was like, bruv, the guy's Look, cool. he actually never like, like the guy's dope. properly, I never heard about like all the allegations and stuff until after he passed away. Maybe yeah. it's just because I wasn't also like really into him as much when he, I wasn't into him at all. <laughs> None of that, you <laughs> were with that? Like I listened to his music <laughs> here and there. Bro, but that guy like, is like the fan. biggest pop star in the world. Yeah. Someone, no, nah, no, nah, but someone said all he does is yell in his music. Nah, nah, and that, that was a like, very <laughs> rude analysis. No, 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 no. The guy is lucky. He's, just, he's a all round performer. Like that's, yeah. that's why he's legendary. I don't know if there's anyone that's a better performer than him bro it's Chris Brown comes Brown. close Brown, yeah. no no comes yeah. close Michael sure. Jackson I don't know and Beyonce what nah yeah, come on yeah Beyonce too come on she's a great sorry performer. yeah she is you know Dan you know watching the performance when <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, wait you don't watch Homecoming I definitely watched Homecoming yeah. I was only watching Beyonce I don't yeah. know if I was watching the whole performance instead what else are we meant to watch oh okay facts I like your drugs not bad in it performer yeah you can't Yo, dance. You, did you guys go to this concert when he came here? Yeah, mm. that was unreal. You went? Mm. It was so good. You didn't go? No. <laughs> you don't even realize how many hits the guy has until it's like yeah. 40 Literally. something songs, one verse of each song, and it's like, this is hit on hit on hit, and oh my God. He's not an amazing performer. Yeah, but yeah, I think I the agree. production of it was insane. Yeah. The balloons, yeah. Yeah, that yeah. was really cool. Classic. Bro, what the heck, man? Are nah. you done missed out? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, nah, see, I've probably only been to three concerts mm. in my whole life, I'm pretty sure. 
Mm. Migos was the flop. That was disgusting. Oh, ew. Disgusting. Chance Black, the Black up. opened up and he was good. Yeah, Black opened up. That's how I found out I about Black. Black. Yeah. Oh, well, you went to Migos as well? Yeah. Fam, man. What Should have linked up. Yo, Curls got one line, right? Curls got Yo, what was good? <laughs> and then, yeah, Chance the Rapper and then who else? Bryson. Bryson to last. Oh, was that oh. good? I didn't go. Yeah, I think you missed out. You missed out. Trust, trust. The one I regret is Kendrick. <laughs> Yeah, Kendrick. Oh, yeah, I didn't go the most recent. Hey, Lecrae, if you're listening to this here, um, come on. to Australia, yes. bro. Le- Lecrae, if you're listening to this podcast, bro, pull up to Australia because we've been waiting on that. We plan to tag him? Huh? <laughs> Might have to. Might have <laughs> yeah. to make a little promo and tag him on this, man. Damn, he was bro. supposed to come, you know? Yeah. Are oh, you listening to Lecrae? Yeah, I love you. Fam. But he got, ca- I don't know why it got cancelled. Bro, that's what I'm saying, man. This needs to happen. I'm get- I- I've been uh, inboxing him in that year. Yeah. yeah. Pretty much all he does is double tap and uh, and and view it. But this guy, no, over here is best friends apparently. Popular dude, <laughs> popular family. dude. Family. This, this guy's fam now. You know what I mean? This guy got a reply from him on the no. on the comment or something like that. Mm-hmm. And the next thing you know, uh, his his TikToks popping off as well. So this guy's famous out here. Right? Good year, twenty twenty. I like. That. Oh, it's mad, bro. Now what else is the problem with you guys, fam? Hey, it was this thing that Miles said. I'm looking. Want to get into it, man? What? Which one? Something about uh, kids have it easier these days. I was just looking at that as yeah, well. Yeah, but I'm looking at it. Like, I've been bruh. seeing it like so much on my Instagram. That kids have it's it just, easier. It's like, it's just this argument of should kids be living like, you know, an easy life? Like a, not luxury, but like, okay, so I'll read the thing, right? It says kids these days have it a lot easier than we did growing up. And then there's people on both sides where it's like, mm-hmm. Well, they're supposed to, you know. We struggle to our kids can, you know, live an easy life, a free life. You know, they can have they can have technology, they can have whatever they want. Um, you know, the click of their fingers because we struggle to they don't have to, or our parents struggle so that we don't have to struggle. But then other people are like, oh, then what kind of children are we raising? You know, they just have it so easy. So it's like I don't know. What do you guys think about that? Should they be having it easy or? I mean, I mean, like, what defines easy though? Mm. That's true. I'll, it I'll, depends. That's what I was. Gonna say. It yeah, depends on it depends, who eh? you are growing up as well. Because mm. it's like, but I heard an interesting quote a while ago. And it's like, tough times make strong men. Strong time. Strong men make good times. Good times make weak men. Weak yep. men make tough times. Tough times. The cycle. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Right. And it's like, oh, okay, yeah. you're followed. You. All right. So <laughs> <laughs> tough, times, tough times. Yeah. Make strong men. Yeah. Strong men mm-hmm. make good times. Mm-hmm. Good, good times make, make weak men. men. Weak mm-hmm. men make, make tough, tough times. Yeah. Tough times make good times. Ah, and then the Oof. cycle. Yeah. It goes back again. That's just, right. Yeah. yeah. So I think it's just a natural thing that's going to keep on going. Because mm-hmm. I was thinking about this early in the year. It's like my my parents, they the goats. You know, like they've yeah, done yeah. very, very well. And like, I th- I think life was pretty good for me growing mm-hmm. up, me and my sister. Yeah. And then I had this kind of like fear, like if I don't achieve this for my kids. Because mm-hmm. it's like, I don't know if I can mm. raise them at a standard mm. below what I, I don't, oh, that's my fear. I don't want to raise them at a standard below what I experience. Mm. But then it's like, so is the standard just going to keep going up? Hopefully. But mm. What if it doesn't? Mm. Yeah. And did your parents, like, did your grandparents struggle? Is that why your parents, you feel, made it and are really successful? I don't know my grandparents. Mm. So, like, they pass away all. But like, um, I think they were all doing quite well. They were, they were all doing quite well, but I think, I definitely know like my parents probably went a level up. Mm. Bro, that's interesting then. If you're saying like the standard is just going to keep on going higher and higher. You'd hope so. Or at least you'd hope that yeah. that's what happens in life. Fam, that's kind of high, bro. Like, yeah. High. <laughs> like, it keeps going high, bro. Like, because society is also like, because yeah, that's what I'm leading like on. The yeah. world's yeah. moving too, right? That's what I'm leading yeah. next. Like, that also means that the standard is society. Because, if, if, yeah, yeah. If, if everyone generally in society is living at this certain level, right? Like this becomes base. This becomes the, the, the net. This is the like, what, what would you call it? Um, lower class or average, right? This mm-hmm. is what lower class means or middle class means in, in a certain time. Right now, upper class might be middle class. Who knows? In the, if actually with the way that these rich people keep getting rich, Lower class mm. is probably going to be. But let's just say, if, <laughs> yeah, if yeah. this was a good world, yeah, like everything, everyone actually looked out for everyone, yeah? yeah. Like our upper class now could potentially be a middle class in the future because oh, the standard be, is though. just going up and up and up and up yeah. and up, right? Yeah. And then that means like- No, but you'll be, like the middle class now will be the upper class of- yeah. It can't be upper class. They would be middle class in the future, but what would have been upper class in their day? You yeah, that's what I'm saying, bro. Man's trying to make it all technical and that, right? Everyone caught me, man. They got me, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. But like, 
that because if you're raising the standard in terms of you're trying to you know provide a better life than what your I mean your parents would have provided you a good life and then you want to now give your kids that plus more it means that society is obviously kind of also probably going to be at that level of the standard is quite good as well but if we're not moving at that like that means you might also have to struggle as well then if if we're still the like where we're at now and you're trying to provide like that you know that greater level above what you have now then you're still probably going to be struggling kind of like how you're like your hustle, hustle. yeah the hustle, hustle is going to be yeah less of a struggle but that means we're also going to be hustling like our parents as well because i have that thought of, as well i'm like am i really going to have to hustle to try to provide a good life for like you know my kids in the future because it's quite good now my parents have set up something really good for me too so it's like i have a net that i know a lot of people don't so Instead of like, obviously without me getting complacent because that's not the kind of person I am, but it's like, it's very easy to coast through this thing. So I'm like, man, what am I actually going to have to do to try to like level up? Like, is it really going to be that hard in this current setting and environment of society? In terms of raising someone who's switched on morally, that will be, mm. that's probably yeah, going to be tough because the world is mad, you know what I mean? Sure. And there's a lot, of, that's the one that's a bit sticky because yeah. the influences and that are crazy. But I'm like, in terms of having good education and all that, it's like, Man, my parents have had to do so much. Like, am I gonna have to do that as well? Like, it doesn't feel like that. I'm like, what am I? What am I gonna be doing then? Or is that actually why they've done all of that for me to not have to worry about that? But here I am sitting. Nah, man, man, gotta hustle, bro. Like, I gotta, yeah, nah, nah, I gotta, I gotta go hard out, man. Nah, my kids can't like. But it's like, isn't that what my parents have kind of done to help me not have to do? I don't know, man. Chicken and egg. I, I, I don't know. Mm. I guess it depends on like how you look at it. So if you just want to focus on you and your kids, then it's like, yeah, rock and just do what I'm doing right now. But if you want to think further down, me, my kids, my kids' kids, and kids' kids, then I was like, now nah, I'm not thinking about that. I'm thinking of creating some type of wealth, like a proper wealth thing. You get me? So I guess it just depends. And obviously, if you think on that level, then it's obviously like a grand thing, yeah? But if you're thinking of me and my kids, it might not be a grand thing. It just might be a simple job. Ooh, ooh, yeah, yeah mm -hmm. good school, whatever, whatever. So, I, yeah, I guess it depends because some people do have the mentality of this is not just me and my kids. This is going to be the Abdallah family thing. You get mm -hmm. me? This is going to be... This family thing, yeah. you get me? Do you guys feel that? Which one do you feel? Do you guys feel like me and mine or nah, nah, the nah, ones nah. that I won't even see? Nah, 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 trust, nah, trust, yeah. 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 That generational sure. wealth is, yeah. is, is what allows you to grind like yeah. that. Yeah. And like I said, if it's me and my kids, it's like, yes, yeah, whatever, bruv. I, I can do crazy $25 an hour, I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> but generational wealth, come on, bruv. I don't yeah. know, man. It's such an abstract thing for me thinking that far ahead for some reason. Like, yeah. I, I get it, and that's definitely what I'm going to try to work towards. But for me, it's so abstract because I'm literally never going to meet these cats. <laughs> like, I don't I'm, know you. I don't know you. <laughs> like, legit. Yeah. Get away from you're like, me. You're, probably, you're, you're not even going to have my photo up in your house, bruv. Like, it's not going to be course. there. But, but, then, but then the thing is, is, like, you know, generations down to be like, well, the only reason why we live in this particular place or this was this guy, my great-great-grandfather or whatever, Daniel. You get me? Yeah. You, you know, you know, you know what I'm saying. That's just gonna keep going, go, and because that happens, you get me. Those buildings where it's like, yeah, rah, you know, this person generations down, mm. but you know, people still know who this That's person true. is. Mm. You get me, and we don't know. Maybe that was his goal as well to do that, or her goal as well to do that. Mm. You get me. So I think just the person how you look at it. So y'all are all, this, ah, but stuff. it starts with your kids, though. It starts with your immediate family yeah, because yeah. if they don't carry on that, yeah, thing, oh yeah, <laughs> true. Everything, then so you gotta work on both. <laughs> bro, yeah. imagine like you set up this whole thing, and then your kids just fly. <laughs> yeah, it just takes the whole hey, job, bro. Hey. <laughs> 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 Man, yeah, no, nah, because nah, actually, I, I was actually reading something like about that recently, and it kind of goes in line with um, Ecle bro, I'm gonna butcher the name. Did you say Ecclesiastes or Ecclesiastes? <laughs> Ecclesiastes. <laughs> <laughs> like, we talking about the Bible here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Okay. Ecclesiastes. All right, that's it for the episode. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, I've been reading that. Yeah, and there's this part that talks about like um. Yo, like, all right, what's the point of out here being rich? Because someone's just going to come and sweep it up after you're gone and all that. And then I was like, oh, damn, bro, you don't have to be all deep like that. Bro. Like, <laughs> like, you're right, yeah. man. People will hustle and hustle. And you can, yeah, he say, said the same kind of thing. Like, you can try to lay up something for your, your future generations and that. And he's like, but someone can might just come and flop the whole mm. the whole operation, man. Mm. I'm like, bro, what, what do mm. I do then? Yeah. So do you not do it in case it flops? Yeah, nah. Would yeah, that, right? you, would, you would absolutely Please? still do it. Yeah, so you're nah, just going to yeah. flop it yourself. I, yeah. Don't worry, guys. No one can mess up now because I did. I, already done it. I, I mean, now, is there something that you could do that even if your kids flop, it wouldn't matter? You're still going to continue on? Like your name <laughs> will continue on with Yeah, you. so something like that where it's like, mm. yeah, right. Like, I was thinking about that, actually, because um, obviously, I don't know how 
bothered with football you guys are, but like Diego Maradona passed away oh, this yeah, week, so right? Yeah. So legendary footballer, all that thing, and like Argentina's president was like, we're having three days national mourning for him, Whoa. right? Yeah, it's crazy. like that's that's Whoa. pretty like wow status yeah. for like mm-hmm. people, bro, people crying in the streets. Like, that, that was the gut. Yeah, like, was the go. that all that kind of thing. Yeah, it's like that is at that level where you're like you've impacted so yeah, many I mean, that no matter what your kids do now. Everyone will know. Everyone's, yeah. everyone's gonna be like, "Yeah." Madonna, I said, bro. "Stuff the kids, man. Everyone else knows." <laughs> yeah. That's Jeez, interesting. Because yeah. my take on it as well. I know you said, like, you know, your parents have set something up for you. So in your mind, you're like, whether you do something or you don't, you know, you're good and stuff. In my mind, even just growing up, because my parents, they kind of um, worked not for like generational wealth, but it was more of just to like keep us afloat, mm. really. You know, just to keep us going, sustain us, and all of that. It's not until now we're like we're all grown. That, you know, my parents can actually work and, you know, do stuff for themselves and mm. do other stuff rather than, you know, putting us into school and paying for all of these things. So when I think of it, sometimes I'm like, yeah, you know, set something up for my children and all. But it's also for my parents, too. I'm like, I want them to be able to kind of just relax and not have to, like, you know, do anything because they have raised me up. They have done everything. So it's like, this is my time to... Uh, this, there's a madness going on over yeah. here. <laughs> we try to get that, um, we try to get that Like, this is kind of like, yeah, my time to... I obviously I do think about you know generational wealth and putting something in place you know for my children and then their children and stuff even my nieces and nephews because I've got nieces and nephews now and when I work you know it's like I'm always thinking about oh I want to like start something for them for when they go uni for when they do all of that stuff so I've kind of I think also because of the people that I'm around like they've influenced me in a way because growing up as well right, I yes. never thought about hustlers <laughs> and that <laughs> untitled land like, and I'm stocks. not even gonna lie I never thought about like investments Share and all market. of that yeah, stuff yeah. <laughs> <laughs> for me it was just like study get into you yep. get into the job like it was never I was never like okay I need to invest I need to do it wasn't until yeah. Uh, not these guys, but it wasn't nah, until I I give us our flowers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, give us our proud big man. It wasn't until I surrounded myself with people who she are actually like still. you know, <laughs> she doesn't want to say daddy or no. Like <laughs> actually do something with your money, like your your money just sitting in your savings doesn't really do anything. Like put it out there so that it can come back more, or even just having a second income. So it's like yes. if the first one you know fails, you have that one in place, but. Just going back to this thing in terms of like, you know, children and stuff, I would love for my children to be able to, you know, be raised in a place where it's like they don't have to struggle or feel like they can't buy something or they can't get something. Mm. You know, I want them to be able to live a life where it's like, OK, I want you guys to be focused, focused on school, focused on, you know, um, everything except money, you know, everything except, you know, um, getting into the things yeah, that you yeah, want yeah. to because, you know, you feel like you can't or whatever. Because for me growing up, you know, I couldn't just like I, I struggled to buy my first car, you know, I had to buy it for myself and stuff because my parents couldn't do that for me. So I wouldn't want my children doing that. So if I could prevent that from happening, you know, of course I would. I don't know why anyone would be like, I struggled so my children are going to struggle too. <clears throat> like, yeah, that can build character in a way, but it's like not struggling builds character too, which is what, yeah. you know, it's, so it's like. I, I guess my question is how do you balance mm. that in terms of, okay, I'm going to take away the money aspect mm. so you can do you, mm-hmm. but how do you implement that? You also got to work for it kind of thing. Yeah. Because I've seen, I've seen work out both. I've seen one where it's like, I'm going to take care of money for you. You just focus on studies and they do, like, they do really well. Yep, yep. And I've also seen, bro, I'll take care of you, blah, blah, blah. And then now when this guy is in the deep end, bro, mm-hmm. he's, he's like, bro, I don't know what to do. I don't, I'm like, bro, yeah. this is, this this is, is easy. elementary. But then he's yeah, being yeah. growing yeah. In, in a world where it's like, oh, do you need money? Oh, you're going out to the movies? Yeah, bro, yeah, the, yeah, the guy yeah, was absolutely. 17 else, <laughs> but the guy got a 3K. You know what? Yeah. If you listen to this, brother. <laughs> <laughs> brother. I think it's, yeah, yeah, yeah no. no. I, th- I was going to say, I think it's more of, I'll provide the money, but you get the information yourself. Like you actually go and do the rest. Like if you want to, you know, let's just say buying a house, buying your first home, I'll put down the deposit, but you have to do all the research. You have to do everything. Like I'm not going to do it for you, you know? It's like, the money, like literally, I will give you the money, but you go and search up everything. You go search up the course that you want to do. You search up the university and all of that. So it's kind of like giving them room to actually be able to do things on their own. Because some people are spoiled. That, like, that's what I was going to say. Yeah. That's the goal. The goal is to go, we're comfortable yep. and capable. But not. But So my only worry is to just make sure you're not spoiled. You're not spoiled. Right? Yeah. That's like you, you know understand. The value of yeah. Money. Yeah. 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 Would you make them that's work great. even though yeah. like they're looking comfortable? Yes. Yeah, oh, you yeah. still make them work? Absolutely. Bro, did you have like a strict setup? Yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, so when I like when I said work, like they have to apply for a place that should work. 
Yeah. 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 This guy said no. <laughs> Wait, wait, if, Word. If I have a company. No, I'm no, not no, 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 no. Big no, man, no, big no, man. No, no, no. What's wrong with that? No, no, no. no. Hey, file papers. No, no, cuz, cuz, you're thinking too far ahead. I'm not, bro. I want my. my like, like, they still have to apply, though, for the yeah, position. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, nah, nah. Even if you did have a company. <laughs> 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 Nepotism sounds nice. <laughs> <laughs> you don't meet any of the criteria, but I like you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're going to have to let you go. The guy's 35. Like, I need this job. My 40 year old son, you know. Like, would you know? And that happens all the time. It does. It does. I do like the idea of them like actually going out and experiencing the world. Yeah. Like experiencing I, the world. I dropped off some resumes or I you know I drop drop boxed some resumes by the time they do it, you know? Yeah, nah, <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna need them big men to work. Right. Nah, y'all gotta apply, you guys yeah. gotta work, you guys yeah. gotta know how it feels, whatever, whatever. Yeah. And then you know we'll talk What was your kind of like upbringing? Was it kinda like that kind of setup as well? Yeah, no, it was similar to my like yeah. my parents, yeah, like did everything to keep us afloat. Like they mm. really did the most. Yeah. And because of that I feel like I had to learn the value. Like I've been working since I was fourteen. As soon as I could get a job, <laughs> yeah. I got a job. Yeah. Word. Had to get my own car, all that yeah, type yeah. of stuff. They help where they can, but yeah, it, it made me realize, damn, like this is valuable. I can't yeah, just yeah. be spending it. And then I want them to relax yeah, now yeah. too. Like now that I'm an adult, yeah, I want to provide for my future kids and my family and get them comfortable, but they will work. Like, yeah. <laughs> I want to know I can provide it, but I want them to know that, hey, you got this on your own yeah, too. Like I could have sure. given it to you, but... You earned it. I think that's, that's a nice way feeling. to experience the, the real world as well. To kind of like, yo, yeah. you know, you go out there, you kind of do your thing. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Because I can't shadow you like your whole life. Too. I heard a madness. Yeah. I think it was yesterday. I, heard, I was in my room and I heard my parents talking to my sister. Because um, she started working recently, like the middle one now. So she's 16. Uh, no way. So she started working. And um, so she's getting bread. She's getting yeah. like, good bread, yeah. <laughs> and I think it was yesterday. It must have been yesterday. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it was yesterday. Yeah. Yesterday she goes to my dad like, oh, I think she said I'm going shopping. Yeah, I'm I'm going shopping. Um, you know, I get some money. Yeah. Like in my head, I'm like, what the heck does she mean? <laughs> Daddy was like, bro, it's I was be a it, long bro, night. What do you mean get money, bro? Like you work, cousin. <laughs> like I was I was proper doing calculations. Daddy was doing calculations. <laughs> was, was, was calculation his head, bro. Because they're funny. Yeah. What they do is they'll do this comparison thing. Yeah. Like younger siblings, they'll always try to use the older sibling as like precedent or something like yep. that. Like if something has happened, they will they will use that as their backup. So like me, I pretty much as soon as I, I, I like I started working real late. I started working um end of year eleven. So I started year twelve pretty much, right? So. How old was I? I was 17. So I started working that. Yeah, 17. I'm, ever since then, I've been working. But that was late, to be honest. Like, this guy's been working for time. You said you've been working for 14. I think, oh, you've been working yeah, ages too, yeah. Idea. And like, for me, so pretty much my parents were doing quite a bit for a while. But once I started working, then I started, I, you know, let me take over these things. Not mortgage and rent and all that, but little things, you know, yeah, phone yeah. bill. The guy said, I'll take care of <laughs> half of my office bill. <laughs> His office was like 20 bucks. <laughs> Relax, sir. But like, I'm like, I'll take oh, over this thing. Yeah. Like, if I want something, I've worked, yeah. I'll buy it. I'm not going to ask you to buy it for me. Like, clothes, like, nah, that's me mm. now. From now on, this is me. So like my sister, the one after me, Let's say for her formal or something, she didn't have to buy her dress or whatever, right? Mm. Then my other sister, the one that, uh, from yesterday, she goes, but you guys paid for her and just that. I'm like, yeah. bro, you're working regardless yeah. now. Like, your you bread is money. yours. Hey, what? Yeah. So At I don't the same know. Time. Nah, nah, but nah, I'm, nah, nah, nah. I see where she's coming. I don't like, know. Yeah. Yeah. What? You yeah. Yeah. I bro, like 16. And because clearly now she understands the concept of money. Because mm. like she, before this, she's like 100 is, is just 100. Now she's like 100 is like that many hours of work. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. So it's like for her, she's like, bro, like two hundred dollar dress. You know what I mean? At sixteen, that and now you understand the concept of money. You're like, that's a whole week and a half. Two hundred? Whoa, wait, what kind of? I don't know what they're paying. Cheeky fifty, bro. I don't wear dresses. Wait, wait, hold on. <laughs> like, did she say I'm going shopping, or did she say I, I have formal coming up? No. Which so her saying? justification for oh, getting money. <laughs> you paid it for full. <laughs> ah. She's smart. She's smart. Yeah. Yeah. Madness. Yeah. You, you gotta, you gotta give a clap for that. That's a, that's yeah, a business yeah, yeah, than that. You can't say, "Hey, this is what I want. I want you to pay for it, even though I got money." Mm. So that's I mean, what I'm saying. Because if we're talking about notions. like, if we're talking about like, yeah, you know, being able to provide that net for your children, like, you know, you know, if we're capable, then we'll do it. I don't have to make you have to go out and you know, what I mean, try to find it yourself. When it comes to something like that in the future, what, what you're saying when you're when your if kid wants working, yeah, if they if want something, yeah, yeah, if they're working. Nah, in that case, if you're working, what you want, you gotta pay for it yourself, mm -hmm. Loki. I might help her depending how expensive it is, or if it's gonna help you. But things that you need, 
Don't worry, I got you on that. Like textbooks, yeah, yeah, yeah don't worry, yeah. I got you. Yeah. Or you need a laptop for <laughs> Damn, they're not using textbooks at that time. <laughs> yeah, well, whatever it is, you know. I said PDF free download, I got you with that. <laughs> you know, but, but that you know, my computer. Those, those things that you need, but you also want. You get me? I'll yeah. get you that laptop, I'll get you that, whatever, whatever, whatever. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? But what you want, you want them Air Force, like big men. You, you gotta get it yourself. Mm. You, you get me, you know, yeah, because yeah, that, yeah. You, that, that, that's what you're working. <laughs> you know what yeah. would be dope though is like if you somehow like between I don't know when they start working 14, 15 till eighteen mm. when like you might still have some access to the bank or whatever. Mm. Let them spend the money off their er- earning and stuff. Mm. But if you're capable, just like reimburse on the side, it. No, hold it. Oh, jokes. Hold the amount that they so let like them this. spend whatever. But then you go all right. They put this much. Put it in an account and then like yeah. when they're eighteen or something. It's like here's your present. This is it's everything your- you bought yourself over the years. It's like, that's crazy. You know what I mean? Because that would be like yeah. I've spent the money and they're like they're fine with yeah. it. Yeah. But mm. for you, it's like bro, that's mad. Oh, like, can you imagine? That would be pretty sick. That is be pretty nice. nice. I love would all you, of these little things. Yeah. That what were you saying? Now I'm just gonna say, would you like uh, hold your kids' bank account? Like let's say they're working. Would you like kind of? Be like, like, yeah, right. If you're trying to spend money, you got to come through me, big man. <laughs> I wish my parents did that for me. Or like, it at least nice, gave yeah. me a little something. Were you bad with money as when you were younger? I was. I was pretty bad. Because like the moment I started like working, I was like, I can buy whatever I want. And it was same. literally, yeah, yeah. I was literally the same. Because I, I felt bad asking my mom for money the moment that I started working. So I was like, okay, everything that I need, whether it's food, whether it's clothes, I'm going to buy it myself. So I was just, I didn't know what savings was. Until, yeah. like, and I, I, yeah. I did not That's know facts, what yeah. savings was. Well, what about you? <laughs> <laughs> Same, as soon as I had it. Because you get so excited. Yeah, I got my own do. money. And you now do. I didn't want to ask them any time mm-hmm. for anything. So food bit. I got it. <laughs> like, right, you, dress. What, yeah. <laughs> I did not know about savings. Mm-hmm. till yeah, mm-hmm. till I hit, you know, 20s. You're like, oh, snap. <laughs> nah, 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 that, that's <laughs> facts. When you're 50, you go to the movies. Bro. Your mom didn't give you money? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and the boots are like, tell us tickets. Bro, I got you, bro. I'm a loud big man. <laughs> Popcorn? I got you. Easy. You know, you know what I'm saying? I, I mean, I mean right it's nice that. and that. But yeah, I don't know. Thinking about it, I, I think if you're someone that's smart with money, then it's like, yeah, raw. It'd be pretty smart to kind of take care of your kids' bank account. Mm. <sighs> but at the same time, I don't know. I, like like I, so I, I, I also like want you to, life. yeah, that's the thing. I also want you to be like, yeah, raw, big man. You earn that, that's on you. Yes, yeah. your consequences. <sighs> I don't think fully like having control, but no, it's like, control. okay, access. when the money comes in, I have access to it. So it's like, I'm going to take a portion out. Damn. And then you. No, no, no. No. I was like, you haven't had a dose today. No. I'll take it off 95. Not for me. <laughs> not for me. Like a portion out, I put it into a savings. Go like crazy. what you said. <laughs> and then because. <laughs> Honestly, if my parents had done that and because if I have to do it myself, you know, it's yeah, just yeah, like yeah. I'm mm. seeing it and it's there and I'm like, I'm going to want to spend it. But if they did it and I literally cannot get it, can you imagine how much I would have right now? Yeah. yeah like, and that. it's also something that you don't yeah. appreciate until later on. I'm not going to lie because I'm super smart with, with investing. Ow. Ow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But <laughs> what, what I would do, yeah, no I'd want to invest like twenty percent of my kids' money, yeah, mm-hmm. and I'd be like, "Big man, take me later, yeah." <laughs> mm-hmm. Now, like, legit, then when they hit eighteen, I'd be like, "Yeah, you know that twenty percent I'd be taking off here, raw." Here so it is. Like, 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 <laughs> 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 the stock market crash. Is that my? Eat. Global financial crisis part four. And kids like, "Dad, <laughs> bro, man, man, I'm having a global financial crisis at home only." <laughs> <laughs> He's like, Dad, actually, all went wrong. Not a trust. Right. Bro, the terrible G- time. The GFC was this guy getting a new car, bro. <laughs> bro, man. And then you have 18, can either be good news or bad news? The bad news is the oh <laughs> stock market crash. <laughs> but we learned the principle. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but the good news is like, yeah, right, big man. Mm. Like, mm. But yeah, obviously not just stocks, but like, you know, I want to invest their money mm. in other things. Yep, yep. And then obviously like when I sit down with them, I was like, yeah, raw. You know, the 20% I was investing in this and this is the growth of it. Now I want you to be able to start taking care of that yourself. How stressed would you be when you're starting to see a flop? <laughs> We're like, whoa, that line's going down. <laughs> you're like, what is he gonna say to me? Man? <laughs> Why is the number in red, bro? Oh my. That's mad. You know, I was even thinking, what are all those like little little things that you guys have like heard about that people do for like their kids? Like, oh, when they grow up, I'm gonna give them this. I'll show them this while they're growing. I'll I'll, I'll, I'll store this. You know what I mean? And keep this aside. Cause I see them all the time, but I always forget. But I feel like everyone has a little interesting thing. Like your thing about that ring. Oh yeah. yeah. You know what I mean about how you'd get like a birthstone for like each um, child. Uh, I have and this that. concept. Uh, like basically, uh, fine. I don't even want to say it again. <laughs> it's like um, um, like kind of like the 
Infinity Stones kind of mm. concept. That's like where the idea came, but it was basically like a square shaped ring and then like three by three stones and then go like dad's birth month. You know how each month has a stone yeah. color, yeah? It's like dad, mom, sister, brother-in-law, partner, then kids, and then, I don't know, if it goes over nine, then <laughs> we have a problem here. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, and then like in the future, like my kids will have their version of it. So it's like almost a different configuration of stones for each person. Mm. Cause then it's like me, wife. Yeah. They'll have the their different siblings, color combo. In there, right? You know, so it's like, that's one thing that I'm like, I kind of want to do. Cause it's, I've never heard of anyone doing it, but. Yeah, wow. I was like, damn. Was, all right, yeah, bro. Uh, that's really cool. I'm trying, I really, really thought about yeah, it. I'm yeah. trying to out here develop a, uh, a signet. Yeah, 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 that's nice. <laughs> I'm trying to do that. <laughs> I, I want to start stamping lettuce. For no reason in the future, get the old, you know what I mean? The wax? The, the I don't wax. know why. It's so exciting. Whenever yeah, I see yeah. it, I'm like, mm, I call it. I'm going there. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to stamp stuff for no reason in the future. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, what about you? Like, do you guys have any of those like interesting little ideas? I also want to record videos like oh, I that I won't that. show. Yeah. I'm doing that already. That's like good. once a month, I'll just like record. Who, like, what do you record? Myself. Oh, what do you record? So, like, yeah, I'll just sit in front of the talk for like good. a minute, two minutes. And then nah, like, yo, why are you laughing? <laughs> <laughs> It was a bad day. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no, like sometimes I'm like, yeah, this month, this happened, this happened, <laughs> yeah, terrible month, today. I hate my life, I love my life. You I know what I mean? I think you're saying that at the start yeah. of the pandemic as well. Yeah, so like I've that's got, good. I think, that's good. Yeah. like seven months worth now, yeah. and Damn. I'm just going to keep going till at some point, like, yeah, let's put this together, watch it back, yeah. or I'll just like die and give it to my kids somehow. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, just imagine watching that, though, like, in 50 years, and you're like, this is my dad. Before he ever had anyone, and this is what he's going through at this point. Yeah, like yeah. that's just a cool. Yeah. Like that's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine we can see our parents at twenty four. Oh, that'd be, that'd be yo, great. Yo, that would be that's so cool. Uh, I got two questions. That's crazy. So one crazy. is, would you rather hang out with your parents at their teenage years, or they meet you in your teenage years? They know that, and you're in the, the time that each of you like. So the te- the time when they were actually teenagers, you go to that as you as you as a. Your age now, yeah. If that makes sense, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Or yeah, yeah. you, as a teenager, they come meet you. Wait, I don't know. Wait, but you know what I'm saying? Kind of like you spend time. Are together. they a teenager when they yeah, come you meet grow us? up as teenagers together? But oh. either in your time or their time. So the thing is, though, like, are they your parents still? Yeah. You get to spend a day with them just see what their life was like at that point. Like I'm talking about the coming back one, even like when they yeah, come yeah, back yeah, to your yeah, time. Yeah, like are they yeah, yeah. So your like parents? We're living in twenty twenty so, with our parents, but they're our age. No 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 no, no 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 no. Because I'm even thinking last time I worded it was amazing. Because how about this year? So sure. The one is that's easy is us going back to their teenage time and seeing them. That's calm. And we're teenagers as well. Yeah. Oh, what? Yeah, more teenagers. I don't know what. No, 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 no. Like, what should just now going at their teenage right, years? Cool. Yeah, yeah. So, hey, we're all just hanging out. <laughs> <laughs> like, do I know that you're my parent? <laughs> and yeah, last time I said this, it made sense. <laughs> it made sense. Last it made so time. Much we're time. our age What's going happening? to their time yeah, okay, yeah, to see sure. how they live. What do you Knowing prefer? where they're kids. What do you prefer? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I want to see how they live back then. Mm. You don't Same. want them to see that. Nah. Cut, that was <laughs> <laughs> Fall down, bro. Yeah, I've seen enough. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> bro, when I look back at photos, it just looks like party after party. party what, for them? them? Oh, for you? Oh, you? <laughs> <laughs> no, when I look, like, when I look at their photos, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. you get me? Like, I don't know if you guys look mm. back at their photos. You know, in Africa, bro, it was party after party. I'm telling y'all, man. Bro, they had drip back in the bro. day, man. Nah, yeah, good drip. Rip. Nah, rip. Nah, oh. Nah. Wait, what? Wait, you're guys, what do you say? Mom was they're, like they're wearing these things, bro. What are you saying? Yeah. This yeah. is from yeah. their yeah. time, yeah. isn't yeah. it? I bought a jacket the other day and it came and I was like, yeah, this is not. My mom was like, your dad has the same one still. Wow. Like, yeah, come on. <laughs> 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 I should not say style as your dad. Yeah. Wow, mm, same hairline. Look at like. that. That's <laughs> the same hairline. He's got the solar panel. Come on. Leave him alone. Other question. I put this up on my story the other day. Yeah. It's like, you win $30 million today. Your mom has an eye surgery tomorrow, $29 oh, million, dollars, yeah? <laughs> or she loses her eye. One eye only, though, yeah? What are you paying for surgery? Put an eye meal, huh? She's seen enough. Hey, Ma. <laughs> She's seen enough. Hey, hey Ma, you, you gonna have one eye, but I'll buy a big house. <laughs> Bro. We well, can totally only enjoy it half sight. <laughs> Bro. Hey. Bro, what kind of surgery is that? Mm. Nah. <sighs> I mean, you could do a lot with a million, can't you? Boy, yeah, you do invest. a lot more with 30. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. greed. Yeah, yeah, but at the same time, you think about it to nine mil though. Mm. 
You're thinking I'm hard. Thinking, I'm thinking generation. You said I'm thinking I'm generation. Up. <laughs> You're thinking, thinking. Bro, I know. But you know, in a heartbeat, they would give it for hours. Yeah. Oh, why are they so yeah. nice? Bro. See, we're bad people. We're yeah, bad. that yeah. we're bad. We're we even cool. considered it. Uh, Saving our eyes. Bro. Now, now that I trust, I do not even think about the money. She's seen enough. That's <laughs> mad. <laughs> right, that's a madness. Yeah, when you said that, that's a <laughs> real <rude>. man. <Yo. laughs> <laughs> that is so him. Man, <laughs> man, yeah, one, of the, um, one of the like interesting oh. little things that I was, what, what are you saying? Now I was gonna say you actually said something like real dope, where it's like they're doing the heartbeat. Yeah. Mm. Now I'm thinking I was like, yo, look, there's a lot of stuff where our parents were doing the heartbeat, but for us, we gotta think twice. We gotta be like, yeah, rah. Mm. Is that would I actually do that? Or do you realize sometimes those people just want to hang out with you? Like the parents? Yeah. Mess yeah. those people. Those people. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Like parents? that's all they want sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And you're just like I got brunch, man. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. Oh, now, why did I do that? No, nah, you're actually right. Because for time, my parents were like, oh, yeah, no. Nah. Because we used to do this thing called like family time. So that was on the Sundays, yeah? Like mm. after church or whatever, the whole evening, like that's dedicated to like the families together on the Sunday evening and that, right? And that didn't happen for time. Because we just get busy. Mm. We start doing stuff, yeah? Especially when we started getting involved at church and that, like you hang out for time. Like you I won't trust. be back with Every Sunday, this guy just say, hey, boys, what's good tonight? <laughs> <Huh>? <laughs> <laughs> that's definitely <laughs> you. <laughs> But yeah, you get occupied and then we even shoot the party. We, you know, I mean, used now, but Sundays, we used to do yeah. Sundays and that. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. you know, the time gets occupied. And then like, I think it was this year, yeah, during all of this, I was going there. My friends like, oh, you know, oh, my mom is in the shit, obviously. You know, mom, you know, always in the fields, the moms. Bro. Man, anyway, she goes like, you know, we should, you know, we should all like, you know, do the yeah. family time again. And she told my sister and I mean, uh, the sister after me, probably two months ago. And we never did anything. Like it's always coming to my mind, but we just never did anything about it. And then one Sunday, I was like, "Ah, She's fine." She's opening up her heart, Dan. So fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, and then one Sunday, I'm like, "I bet." Let me just let me give him this Sunday. Like it was a vibe. Yeah. It was actually a vibe. You were even there that day. Yeah. 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 I'm like, ah, like nice. that. This is what they've worked for all this time to be able to be able to do this. You know, it's like. Bro, it's crazy. This like, guy's right. They just want to hang out, bro. When we talk about like, oh, having kids, and it's like this huge idea. And it's like, oh, it's gonna be my kids. That we're, that's we're, us to them. Yeah, yeah, legit. Nah, like, yeah, for real. That is. They had all crazy. these plans. Oh snap! Yeah, yeah like they, your dad yeah, would have gone to fight with your mom when he was like 19, 20 or something. Wow. And he's like, no, no, I love you. I love you. Something. <laughs> what? You're thinking you know that this. whole kind of thing. It's like we don't realize they had real human experiences. Mm. Oh, yeah. So. yeah, yeah. What you say is facts because we just all say, yeah, what would you do with your kids? They're right, like, bro, they probably they, would think they, the they'd be same. saying that stuff yeah. a couple of you know 20 years back, bruv. I'm gonna go ask him this question when I get here, but no way, this is a deep yeah. episode. Man, go and feel analyzing the <laughs> relationship like, in that, bro. I don't know where, like, it's like, I wish I had more kids. You and said that, yeah, yeah, yeah like, oh. I said it multiple times. Oh, uh, but it's yeah. no, because yeah. I think, wait, no way, you're not good enough. Let's just sit here for a little bit. <laughs> let's let's try to analyze what's no, going no, on. No, 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 this is literally his reason. No, yeah. no, because we can't just He's brush like, past that. Because none of you guys need me anymore. <laughs> no, uh, oh, like younger kids. He's like, I wish I had someone in high school. Yeah, young still Like, hey, what should I apply for? Yeah, what should yeah, I? Yeah. How do I do oh, this? That's so nice. Yeah, that kind of thing. We're kind of like, bro, you don't understand marketing, graphic design. <laughs> <laughs> bro, yo, really. They want to feel needed. Yeah. Mm. Damn, man. That is, yeah. Yeah, wow. I reckon it would be dope as if I actually like had a big family, bro. Yeah, man. Because yeah. all of you guys like such a family. People. You want to see another one of this guy? I nah, know him. Do you, have, <laughs> do you have a big family? <laughs> nah, my family's small. Yeah. It's just me and my brother for um, immediate cousins. Yep, yep, honestly, yep. not even that many. Mm. Yeah, like all oh, you got all cousins Egypt. around or yeah. where yeah. Egypt? In Egypt, is there a lot there or not? Nah? No, there isn't. Mm. See, it's weird because I'm like that as well. Arabic family, but not many. But the yeah. stereotype is Arabic family is like. Yeah. Yeah. Village. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I said village. <laughs> did you grow up in Egypt? Yeah, I did. Yeah. I, I know this, this guy's excited because I swear he loves Egypt. I don't know yeah. why. <laughs> nah, Egypt, it, it, yeah, Egypt is dope, but it's, it's so racist. Oh, <laughs> oh so wait, never yeah. mind. Oh, wait, hold on. Wait, wait, really this guy bad. had bricks thrown at him or something, yeah? Huh? Oh, Jeez. did you huh? have bricks? No, bricks, come on, man. <laughs> rocks. Just tired. It's <laughs> 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 not rocks. <laughs> It's <laughs> still really bad. Nah, nah, nah. Cause, bro, Egypt is super. I don't know yeah. how it is now, 
But when I was there, it was super racist. Like, you can't walk alone, bruv. Like, right. you have to walk like in groups. Yeah. So sad, man. Jeez, Do you bro. remember much from then? Did you come when you yeah. were young? Or? Like, I, I came when I was seven, but I remember heaps, and I've been back four times now. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's really lucky. good. But yeah, it's been amazing. But I agree. Like, super. Like, even I hear them speaking. Sometimes they don't think I'm Egyptian, so they just talk and talk. <laughs> talk, yeah, yeah. But I see how they talk about the tourists and, wow. like, Sudanese people there and stuff. So, ah, I'm like, big man, I can understand y'all, bruv. <laughs> <laughs> But the look at me. But they don't care. I don't go chocolate. I still remember exactly what they said to me. It's running in his mouth. It's running in his mouth. Keep talking and he'll cry. Wait, what did they say? Chocolate. Chocolate. What's that? Chocolate. Yeah, see, she's calling him chocolate. Before I sleep, chocolate. Guy peeping through the window. Oh man. Oh, hey, hey. Okay, so look, we're all laughing in that, yeah. This, this is, is traumatic. No, no, this, <laughs> this is either traumatic or very, very <laughs> real for people, yeah. yeah but yeah, that's true. are we allowed to have this kind of a reaction if we're thinking about our own experiences and that, which is probably very real for someone, mm. but if we're looking back on it and it's this is how it's it is. Because uh, I feel like in our day and age, you kind of feel bad if you're not feeling bad when you think about others. these kind of things or these experiences. Mm. Like for you, that's real. Yeah. It's real. But right bad. now you're bantering but about it or something. Real. I don't know. It's Maybe it's still real. I don't know. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Uh, obviously it depends on how the person explains it as well. If I'm like, man, that was so like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like it's all like how you say it. True. But at the same time, like <clears throat> when I was going through it, bruv, like I didn't know this this was racism. Mm. Basically, yeah. you know, when you're young, you're naive as well. So you don't understand these things, you know. Even like in primary school, when people look at you different and whatever, say different style, whatever, whatever, you don't really notice you know, you don't say, yeah, that's racist, yeah. And then when you grow up and you understand the world and how things work, you're like, yeah, right, that person was actually being super racist or that teacher was being racist or those people were being racist, right? So then now, like, when I understand things, I'm like, yeah, right, now I get it. But then when I was going through it, like, I was just like, yeah, right, they're throwing rocks at me, big man. <laughs> he said, it's a game. It's God. a game. And I said, boys, grab rocks too. Yeah. <laughs> Bro. You get me? Like, at that, because yeah. we're all kids. It was me. Like my my friends, my cousins, siblings, or whatever, and bro, the other kids they were the same age as me too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, f- five, six, seven years mm-hmm. old as well. So it's like they probably don't even understand this is racism as well. They mm-hmm. probably just accustomed to calling this certain color a certain way. So they probably didn't know it the same way I didn't know it as well. Is this racist or not? Because I remember this recently. Like you know, those memories that you have, but they come up out of nowhere. So when I was in high school here, we used to play football at lunchtime, like soccer. And it only clicked recently that we always used to play whites versus blacks, yeah, like based on skin, because obviously we wore a uniform. No way. But it was, but it's just like it was just the most reasonable way to distinguish who's on whose team. Yeah, is that racist? Nah, because we did that as well, like Forbes versus this. I don't know if you didn't really play with nah, us. Nah, wasn't that? Nah, 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 Go away. But, but, but listen, but sometimes, you never played with us. Sometimes <laughs> we did that, or we literally just do year level, bro. We'd split it up and just go year 12 versus year 11. No, yeah. No, no, no. The no. guys, yeah. No, no, no. That never happened. Bro, we, <laughs> it literally. You bro, Charles, you're just working around the school, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like, Charles, we do. But yes, we, that happened a lot, especially like when we play like rugby or soccer. That's not racist, yeah. Like, that's just fine. Yeah, you're not just saying, oh, yeah, because. It's innocent. Like it just seems Innocent? that no, seems no no no, 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 no. like <laughs> honestly because it's just the logical offended? way to go about it because yeah. we're all friends yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. and no one yeah. got offended or anything right I don't think so but at the same time because <laughs> <laughs> kids are like crying after every game <laughs> just sweating <laughs> just the other team. I, I, I guess it depends because obviously like at school you can't hang around like your group. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I would hang around, let's say, Africans, yeah? And let's, obviously, say, let's say, just say you hung around. <laughs> nah, you did. I, hung around say Africans. I hung around everybody, yeah? The, the, obviously, the folks hang around, like, each other, but we're friends. Mm-hmm. But that's their group, and that's my you group. You know what's wild, though? With your school, when you say fobs, you mean islanders. Yeah. When I say fobs, I meant mean? Asians that were fresh to Australia. Hmm. Asians? I've never oh, seen wait, them like Asians? that. Yeah. Fobs. Wait, do you guys all use fob as islanders? Islanders, yeah. I've never used this. I don't term. use that oh, term. To be honest, I don't know if the right if it's the right terminology, but like obviously growing up yeah, in that I school, that. they would even consider themselves as fobs. Oh, well, fobs. Yeah. So I was like, oh yeah, right, okay, cool, fobs. Then in it. Yeah, yeah, nah, that was us in there. So for you, it was yeah. Nah, I don't think it's the right <laughs> Unless they begin to make it sound right <laughs> <laughs> when you're playing, <laughs> no, <laughs> why this Arab and no Arab lad in this team? <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. Right, that was like, hey, big man, I don't no, that's know, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, that's racist. I want to ask, so you've been back Egypt quite a bit. Have you traveled a lot more 
as nah, well? Nah, honestly, I want to, but mm-hmm. not yet. Would you, because everyone, I actually, someone asked me this, like, what was this last week about where would you want to live? And I said here. Mm. I don't know about you guys, but yeah, mm-hmm. would you rather, because you came when you were, what, you said seven, seven years, so you had a bit of time over there. Would you, yeah, would you prefer being over here or would you rather live somewhere overseas? Definitely not Egypt as a woman. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> would. Yeah. It's terrible. Yeah, sure. Opportunity wise, absolutely Australia. Like, yeah. the most livable city in the world in Melbourne. That's crazy. Yeah. Nice. Um, but would I still want to live somewhere else for a short time? Maybe. But definitely home base would be Melbourne or Australia. Oh, that's I what that's I said. Good. It's a mm. good place. Everyone looked at me weird. Mm. Wait, what, when you said what? I said here. Yeah. Cats are looking at me weird, like, what? You're so basic, man. You're here. I'm like, what do you mean? It's nah, like, wait, do these people get along with their family? Whoa, what a question. Wait, uh, wait, wait, wait. Wait. Anyone who gets along with their family has good friends somewhere. They don't want to move from that uh, place. No, nah, they do. I get that. Like, <laughs> home really is where mm. the heart is. Ew, just to what be a corny, corny you know guy. I mean? But like, it's where your people are. I don't know, man. When you think about, like, you know, reasons for staying here, do you think about, like, the economy and, like, you know, work wise and stuff or do you think about like you know what's around you adventure and all of those things weather and all of that do you take that into con- consideration or is it just like career wise and you know fam i think everything is just calm here it's just, nice place. It's just calm mm. <laughs> yeah. I, I think the biggest one is like <clears throat> crime like the crime rate well, i'm like like ah. it's be- it's crazy here or no, it's lower? Not crazy. yeah it's yeah. Not yeah. Crazy. yeah like when you see it like compared to other places you know it's like yeah right like lucky lucky like we got it yeah. don't right. we have like no one here does like, like when you hear like gunshot time. in Melbourne, but everyone gets shook because <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, yeah, yeah. because you, you it's not normal for us. Mm. You get me? Like this whole gun on and you know stabbings, like it happens. I'm not saying it doesn't happen, but yeah. I was still not crazy. used yeah. to hearing it yeah. at yeah. all. Yeah. But in some other places, that's the that's the norm now. Especially yeah. when you hear things about like rivalry between gangs and stuff. Yeah. I'm like, is that legit? Mm. Like, do we actually have that here, or is it just like? We're just sticking the gang label because it's multiple people. Like, yeah, do man, we actually don't put have that on our? Someone's watching. <laughs> we don't know who's watching. <laughs> I mean, like seriously, though. Like, do we actually have a yeah, gang yeah, yeah. issue here, or is it just something that's just so low key that you mm-hmm. know we don't know because they don't actually, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not trying to get hurt. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not I think about anything. The sort of nice thing from what I think goes on with the gang stuff here is that no everyday people are involved. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? That's true. It's that's like, true. It's oh, not yeah. just seen no on the getting, streets yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. Caught yeah. in the crossfire. So, yeah. Mm. Which is great compared to, you know, what you hear of the States or yep, yeah. Chicago. Yeah, the States is that's true. true. Yeah, I mean, that, that's facts. I mean, livable, the most livable city also yeah. takes the crime rate into consideration as well. Because yeah. we look at job opportunity, economy, this, this, that, and also the crime rate in that particular city. And then that's why, like, Melbourne, Sydney, I was like, there. even Adelaide is up there, too. Yeah. You get me? The opportunity there, this day is like, yeah, right, you guys. I know, but they have dirty water, bro, so. <laughs> 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 yeah, I don't know. Dirty water? That, that's why they're Australia? like, huh? Have you guys travelled around Australia? Metro? No, I've, Sydney. I've only not yeah. gone to Western Australia, Northern Territory, and Adelaide. Oh, South that, Australia, I'm, sorry. I want to see that Uluru thing. thing. No, I've done yeah. all of that side. I haven't done that side, which is only three other states, which they're huge. They take up mm, the whole place yeah, pretty much, yeah. But, nah. Man, I'm trying to go see Adelaide, bro. Yeah, what? Adelaide. Bro, you even hear Danny Andrews? Who'd want to go there? Who'd want to go there? You <laughs> <laughs> killed him, bro. <laughs> <laughs> He's not yeah. wrong. Bro, yeah, man. I don't know, bro. Like, that's one of my homies said it's lit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I have people say like that as well. Mm. Yeah. yeah. It's nice, it's calm. I Let's bet. Go there. Nah, see, whenever yeah. calm is included in the <laughs> of a city, it means well, we went to New Zealand. So I was born in New Zealand, right? Yeah. But then we went back recently, like 2018, I think, start of the year. Mm-hmm. We went to South Island, Christchurch. We're like, that's calm. <laughs> it's dead. <laughs> 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 We're walking around the city at night. Nothing I'm happening. not even kidding. We finished walking around the whole city in like 35 minutes. Wow. The oh, place wow. is dead. Saturday night, 6 p.m. There's nothing going on. Nothing There's like three happening. Indian restaurants open. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what my, place is this? My, Christchurch, New Zealand. My parents wow. are like, this is disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> Were you telling me you can walk around the whole Nothing city in 30 minutes? It's, it's bad. Wow. Jeez, bro. We said we'll go there in the morning. Wait, what island did you say says south, yeah? Because yeah. we went north. North is. Yeah, north is. North Auckland. felt popping, yeah. Mm. yeah. But I, I don't even know. That, that was Auckland, Auckland yeah. yeah. But that was that felt tiny as well. Yeah. It is small, it isn't it? It's sm- not a big country. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. They're more sheep than people. Uh, wait what? No facts. Bro. <laughs> like, I think it, I think it's something like five million people, forty million sheep, or something like that. Ease, bro. Wow. That's a mad thing, man. Hey, yeah. I'm trying to hear a bit more about this curls guy, though, for sure, man. Like, 
what actually goes into you like making these vids? Like, oh, or, what's f- or even what's your most favorite thing that you've done on on your like, platform at the moment? Oh damn. Yeah, that's question. a heavy question. Huh? That's a crazy question. My most favorite thing, oh, probably honestly, like it, it's not seen. Like it would be what goes down in DMs. Like yeah, yeah. the conversations that I have with girls in there is just yeah. It starts daily, off, is it? Yeah, that's daily. Crazy. It starts off, you know, what conditioner can I use for my hair? Here's a photo. To okay, I don't have confidence in this. So how do Bruh. I? Know? That's and awesome. that's like the whole reason that I want to do it. I want to <laughs> get to the past your hair and let's like look yep. at the root of everything. It's wild, man. So that's probably the fav- my favorite thing about the whole thing. Oh man, what oh. goes into this? Oh, it was. It goes into like one vid, like a lot of time. Ah, so ah, ah, ages. You get your products ready. You got to choose. You got to hope and pray that it's gonna work out. Because yeah, curly hair, it forget it. It's a mind of its own. So it Word. can look trash or it can look amazing. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I'm filming, hoping. Can I post this or not? Mm. <laughs> so yeah, get your products ready. Get your camera set up. You have to have good lighting. By the time my hair dries, the sunset. So it's like at the end of the vid looks different to the start of the vid. (laughs) But you got to choose your song ahead of time. You got to make sure you know if you're syncing it, you don't miss the beat because people will come for you. (laughs) (laughs) Ah, bro, lips don't even match. Sounds so like from experience, yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I went like them Chinese yeah. movies. <laughs> <laughs> no one even beat before. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez, man. Literally, so yeah, quite a bit of planning. You just got to plan. Yeah. Do you like that? This is the kind of space that we're at, where because this wasn't something people would be doing. Let's say ten, maybe even I want to go even shorter. To be honest, I want to say like six years ago or something. Yeah, like that. This wasn't a space that w- that was in existence. Like like. This is what you'd have to be planning. You know, okay, let me plan that. I'm going to plan the song. I'm going to record to you. I'm um, going to plan oh, yeah, about sure, this, yeah, that, yeah. the light. You know what I mean? Like, mm. this isn't something that was really going on. Do you like that this is the medium that you're using to do that? I mean, it's amazing because you reach way more people. Mm. Like, you know, you can literally just talk to, like I talk to people in the US and in, in different countries. It's like you can connect to such a wide audience just from your room, mm. which is insane. Yeah. But obviously there's ups and downs to that. Because before the page, it would be in retail. People would come up to me in the store and be like, mm. oh, I like your hair, how do I do mine? Mm. And that's what made me start thinking, crap, there's like people really need Actually some help. This, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> These girls be looking wild at you. What's <laughs> <laughs> doing that, what's doing this, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did you say it to them or were you thinking it in your head? Nah, I don't know. Nah, I'd never say it. <laughs> yeah. That was me too. I gotta humble myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh um, man. But yeah, I think I like it, but it definitely has its negatives. Like social media can be a trip. I was gonna say, how much are you like how much do you Do you get obsessed, obsessed with the numbers at all? Okay, just Not obsessed, but like yeah. <laughs> No, at the start, especially when I saw it growing fast, yeah, I was like, yeah, oh my god, what am I gonna reach now? And it's like I had to literally be like, this is not why I started. Mm. Yeah, it's yeah. not. It doesn't matter if it's a hundred followers or a hundred million. Like, it needs to be. Why I don't know, man. hundred million. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. Get us. Wait, hold on, hold on, wait, slow down. Wait, wait, if it was a hundred million, she's not coming on this yeah. podcast. Bro, <laughs> hundred million, there. Yeah, come on. Man. <laughs> <laughs> you no, getting sponsors, bro? <laughs> really, it really is about that. Like, you have to come back to your core, or else yeah. you just get lost. Then you think, ah, I didn't get a thousand on this, and suddenly my content sucks. Then you hate yourself, and you hate your cook. Like. It can become a really because that's what I was going to ask. Like, how do you detach yourself mm-hmm. from something that's really a lot about you, but it's yeah. more about empowering other people for sure, right? Like, you're doing this to help mm-hmm. other people and and their um, you know, like their journey and their like love for yeah. themselves and all that kind of thing. But it's you that's out there, yeah. So it's how you do you, as a brand, yeah. So yeah how do you personal. detach that or not take that mm-hmm. that personally when you're doing that? Yeah, that's a great question because it's a conscious effort to detach yourself every day. Like, Mm. okay, this person said something negative. I can't take it personal against me. I don't know Mm. what they're even going through. So for me, like I always have to tell myself, cool, if God's put this on my heart and I feel like Mm. I'm bringing him glory through it, Mm. nothing and no one that can say that should affect me. Yeah, yeah. No weapon formed against me. Come on. (laughs) That was actually something dope that I was was gonna say. Like, I like the way that you, crossroads between like obviously the hair stuff but also the faith stuff through your Thanks, channel man. like mm. like I, what made you go, okay i'm gonna start incorporating this as well yeah was that from the start that you were incorporating that? yeah from the start i mean i said like if this is for god at the mm. end of the day right yeah. it's more than their hair because mm. i want to show them hey you're actually loved by someone so much bigger than mm-hmm. your problems your anxieties your hate for your hair your mm. this you know so ultimately it's cool let me help you with your hair but let me help you with your soul <laughs> like yeah, yeah. so, yeah. so he has to be in it <coughs> from yeah. the start and at the center. 
Damn, man. Yeah. That's a tough kind of space bro. to play. And it's so yeah. needed, though, in our, like, time, you know what I mean? Because there's a lot of people that are doing dope things. Even us, for example, as well. Like, we're doing our thing as mm. well, you know what I mean? We're trying to, but it's like, ultimately, we also know what, is quite important in life as well. And, and sometimes even like, whether it be in comments that we'll get or like even like some guests that we'll have on, like we'll be like, yeah, man, we know what you really are trying to like. Here, yeah, like how do you not try to like overtake yeah. this whole thing that you're doing? Because some people aren't coming there for that, yeah. you know? I'm mm, not coming to your thing. content that's for that, innit? Yeah. So how do you yeah. try to cater to, mm. you know what I'm saying? Or the people who's there for it, but at the yeah. same time, you they know. They need. Yeah, yeah, it's so true because you don't want to Bible bash someone. You That's what I'm thinking, like, yeah. Oh, you're here for curls? Nah, you're here for God. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Girl, forget your curls. <laughs> <laughs> that's your problem. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like, I mean, the simplest thing is showing love, right? If yeah. God is loved, you need to notice, like, you need them to notice why is she different? Why Fresh. is she speaking yeah. to you? What's different about her? Oh, she also is a Christian. Maybe I should, you know? That usually is the biggest spark. That's dope. That's a real thing, man. Uh, yeah, I think it's dope for you to do something that you like, but also bring in this element of, yo, this is also really important, by the way. Like, I know this is what you're here for, but also look at this thing yeah. as well. But it's also pretty tricky because, like, when I follow a page, it's like, yeah, big man, mm. don't add no elements. <laughs> 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 yeah. I got that covered, yeah. yeah, yeah. Guy, you out here following guy for his investing skills, and now he tries to start singing, bro. What yeah, are you what doing? Are you doing? <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Slow <laughs> down. Bro. What are you doing? Yeah. I think that's so yeah. true. You gotta yeah. have it from the start, otherwise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's yeah. exactly. So it's like it. that's your whole brand. Yeah, yeah. 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 Mm. That's what we're talking about, also as well. Like a few episodes ago, it's like if you bring. Like, you know, you brought that in from the beginning. So people know when they come to your page, they see it from the beginning. It's not something that you just, yeah. like, eventually throw in. It's like, okay, she started this page with faith and, and hair. So that's what she's continuing with. It's not like she just started mm. with curls and now she's, like, moving into something yeah. else. So I think it's definitely yeah, establishing that from the beginning, let it, letting people know, if you're coming to my page, you're coming mm. for this. You yeah. know, this is what you're going to be expecting. So if you don't want it, like, leave. Yeah, right. you're not tricking them into yeah. anything. Yeah, well. <laughs> 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 then leave. Yeah. But, but it, it is tough as well because sometimes you don't think of that growth that you're going to get. Mm -hmm. So then now when experiencing that growth, you're like, oh, oh. snap, L let me, <laughs> yeah. L let yeah. me throw all that stuff as well. You get me? Or the opposite of I'm experiencing growth, let me tone it. Or tone it down, put it in it a down. more palatable way. Like there's also that feeling of like, ah, oh, should mm. I yeah. it down? You know? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's true, actually. Yeah, it can go both yeah. ways, yeah. Mm. Yeah, right. I guess, like, because you you started in April, and it's pretty, like, amazing. Okay, yeah, let me how, not forget that again. Yeah, Hold on, like, you said you started in April? Yeah, yeah. that you guys said it, like, I was like, whoa, April, that's not that long ago, like, at all. And the fact it's that nice. it's growing, and, you know, sometimes it's hard to get people to even just like your stuff, let alone follow your page, follow, like, a whole mm -hmm. Instagram page. So it's like, I guess, with the whole growth and stuff, have you had to, like, accommodate to that now? Because, like, you know, we've got more people coming to your page, more people sharing and stuff. So have you had to, like, do anything different or kind of be like, eh. Yeah, like, I have to discipline myself to be like, cool, I need to answer 20 people today. And then, like, tomorrow I need to do it again and reply to those comments. Mm. Like, otherwise, because yeah. you realize that's what you're here for, right? Like, I could be like, cool, I don't have time for this. Or, no, this is what I'm here for. So I need to, you're right. So I had to definitely put time aside, accommodate. Yeah. But it's worth it, you know. It's definitely mm, rewarding sure. in the end. April. Hey, next thing you know, she's going to be like, I need a social media manager. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> like, whoa. Like, <laughs> Because you get to a point where you're like, yeah, right, I need to answer 20 DMs. 20 I'm going to hire you, all right? <laughs> 20 DMs is a lot. Job, right? yeah. Actually, yeah. He's a genius in that. I was going to say, yeah. are you at the point where you're like scheduling posts? Mm. Like, and they just go out without you knowing kind of thing? Uh, you know, no, like I yeah. do it in my own calendar, yeah, yeah, yeah. but I should actually use an app. That's a good idea. Mm. No, you got to scheduling. Yeah. Oh <laughs> send, me, send me the app, yeah. Scheduling post. Yeah. Actually, I just had a guy, bro. He's a genius. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna hey, scheduling wow. post, man. That's mm. we, ain't no, we ain't nowhere near that. <laughs> you know how many times I'm like... You're planning. You plan this in advance. Nah, just... I'll be like, oh, snap. I haven't put up a promo yet today. <laughs> bro. And the, on the day, I'm yeah. downloading it from the Google Drive. Oh, snap, man. Bro, it's actually amazing how like you see growth that quick, yeah, man. Yeah, for sure. But again, that shows me like how much is needed, though. If a brand came to you, and let me see, let me try and make this spicy, man. So a brand comes to you, right, and they want to take over what you're doing because they're seeing there's a there's a buzz. 
Let, and they, let's say they make they want to make a segment or something or make a show or whatever some yeah, kind of segment yeah, or something yeah, yeah. yeah? like a, a, a cosmetic brand they want to they want to uh, facilitate this for you instead mm. it's not your thing anymore right. but it's you under them what's your what's your move with that and they're, they're, they're offering a bag yeah, like yeah you could how much? Bag. How much? Nah. How much? Stacks, racks. What are you saying? What are you saying? Hundred K. Thirty million. Twenty nine. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> <laughs> you get to keep. Don't be a bum. Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> they pay, they're giving you twenty nine and then another thirty. So the, I said you for the mum. That's calm. That's covered. Yeah. Whoa. Nah, that's not enough or what? Yeah, that's good. That's good. Yeah. Wait, how much? Fifty no, nine million. Who's not gonna take that at our mm. level? Yeah, no, nah, cause cause we're like, five million. Yeah, yeah, million. Wait, something. five million. Nah, let's be realistic. Yeah, six hundred thousand. Wait. Seventy-five thousand. Seventy-five thousand. Yes, seventy-five. Seventy-five. But perfect. you see, you gotta ask yourself if they're willing to invest this in me, that then means they know that I'm gonna get to that. Ah. Come on, on my own, they want to benefit off me. So then you have to ask yourself, how do their values align with me? Will they want to change my brand in a way that I don't see fit? Mm. And those things are huge because once someone is in, mm. they can start buying you out, yeah. <laughs> and then all of a sudden yeah. you're kicked out of your own brand. Like, oh snap! <laughs> you gonna hit outside yeah. the club? Yeah. Next year, you get in. La la la! Next year, they don't see share the purse anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Why is this about straight hair? <laughs> Oh. I'm not even in it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> That's mad. Wow, yeah. But that is a big thing because mm. if someone sees the potential in you, it is the. It means that. The, oh, mm. maybe I should sign or do whatever, but then it's also like, maybe I should just keep doing this. Yeah, yeah for sure. That's what um, Master P did, like the rapper. Mm. So he got offered, I don't know, it's like a million dollars in like 1980 something, 1990 something, right? And then he was like, wait, if these people want to give, this record label wants to give me a million or two million or whatever. Mm. I can do my own thing. The guy's worth like 400, 500 million. Yeah. You see? That's like, that's insane. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. But I mean, some of them are great. Like some opportunities yeah. can be fantastic and can help you grow, but you have to really assess like yeah, value thing, base. Right? For sure. Not do you get a lot of um, like collabs in that? I get well? free, pr like Share Moisture was my dream. So yeah. they reached out, um, but it was like a for gift Promo type yeah, yeah, yeah. Free I, I'm, I'm, I want that. Yeah, I mean, I was like, <laughs> I love your products. <laughs> so obviously, I'm trying to work towards like gaining paid partnerships. That's yeah. the end goal. Um, but yeah, so far, like, yeah, like smaller brands will reach yeah. out. Um, That's nice. Yeah, That's which nice. is really, really nice. You're actually an influencer. Mm, okay. Social media. <laughs> <laughs> That's even weird to hear. Like, yeah. no, I'm not. I'm just in my room. Like, <laughs> 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 I'm sharing. Nah, nah, trust, trust. Got it. Bam. I'm trying to get. I'm trying to get sponsored. Yeah. Hey, so how would y'all feel though? You About what? Comes in is like, yo, yeah. I'm trying to get the social podcast. My trust. It's my business. Huh? I would say no. It. So you feel protective? Like you wouldn't? I don't know if I feel protective, I just believe in myself. Mm. You see? That's good. So, That's so amazing. you would say now. Nah, like the bags mm. right. Just the bags right. So how much is the bag <laughs> right? Yeah, you're trying to sell it. 100K? Nah, but at the same time, splitting it four ways is disgusting. Yeah, nah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. See, see? 75K for her. That's 75K. For anyone. 100K for yeah. us, bro. What's that? 25. 25. Come on, man. Yeah. Quick back. <laughs> <laughs> like, I know. Bro. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but yeah, at the same time, I was like, yeah, yeah. right. 100K. But then it's like, yeah, yeah right. 25K. <laughs> 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 oh. It's gonna end. Nah, I don't want it. Together. That's yeah. like when the yeah. team yeah. wins a trophy mm. and you got a sh one week at each person's yeah. house. Bro, that's madness, man. My <laughs> grandpa, <laughs> 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 hey, my grandpa's coming over. I need the trophy. I need the trophy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! You had it last week. You had it. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. I'll give you two weeks. Bro, she's sleeping over. Oh man. <laughs> Oh that's my crazy, God. bro. <laughs> yeah, hey, I'm trying to get sponsored too, bro. I don't know, man. Boohoo yeah. and that, what are you saying? Yeah, what boohoo, man. Boohoo, man. Yeah, 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 boohoo, man. Okay, okay, okay. Fashion I over curvy, bro. What are you saying, man? Who else? Nah, I'm not even joking. I'm serious. Fashion over curvy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to really guys. Right bro, I'm now. serious right here. Oh, man, what's up? <laughs> so, I have a theory that those brands are going to be finished in like three, four years. Bro, why would you say that? I said I wanted to get sponsored. With sustainability, yeah. Because it's like, Pretty much confirmed, like they're using slave labor. And people are getting bashed for it now. Yeah. Like, mm. how could you buy from this yeah. fast fashion when yeah. you know that the landfill and yeah. all that stuff? Oh, yeah, that's the other thing. Like, each yeah. t shirt's so many liters of water. Or Literally, whatever. wow. What? Yeah. Yeah, to water? dye a pair of jeans. <laughs> this said you like use water in t shirts? Eight, eight liters or something. <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Yeah. One, wait, okay, whoa, I might whoa. be wrong. Check that fact. But like, <laughs> I, what I read was <laughs> <what I read, laughs> way more, like 80. Or something like that. 18. Yeah, it's something yeah. crazy though. That's it ridiculous. is. Wait, eighty? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. wait, wait you she went from eighty. You said no, wait, no, no, eighty no. liters. Wait, you think about it. When you shower, you're spending like at least 30, 40 liters. Huh? Nah. You are. All right. Oh, so can I, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, okay. Hold on. Not even I'm, that. Well, how much is a three-minute shower? 
A <laughs> well, who minutes. showers for three minutes? <laughs> Wait, what? I know you don't How shower many? for three minutes. Wait, you said yeah. that? Longer. Longer. I don't know. Yeah. Did you smell the guy when he came? <laughs> 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 no, I feel like everyone showers for a long time. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm closer. 55 liters in a shower normally. Hmm. That's for a seven well, minute shower. The, I this go 15. Nah, that's seven. Whoa. Minutes. Wait, 15 <laughs> minutes shower. Wait, well, how is it shower? I don't know. 15? I don't know. Really? Bro, that's a long. I was gonna say thirty minutes. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. You're wait thirty minutes. Because of your hair? Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. I get about like every day. No, nah, oh, hey, I'm <laughs> talking. <laughs> no. Nah. She yeah, looked at me like, so you have no excuse, <laughs> bro. <laughs> 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 wait. Wait. Ooh, thirty, 30 minutes, minutes every day? No, no, no. So okay. every day one will be less. Actually, okay. bro, that's you're weird. actually not wrong. Okay. But how many times a day do you shower? Bro, this guy showers for a long time. I know. No, no, I shower for about seven. Seven. Okay. Because if it's in the morning, I brush my teeth in the shower. Yeah, so the that's before. a very nice feeling. By the way. Yeah, so yeah, I brush yeah, my teeth yeah, in the shower. Yeah. So that's going to be, that's eight minutes minimum for me. Yeah. Okay. Or like that's pretty much, yeah, that's that's where it's at. I know my shower, brush teeth and all that is going to be eight yeah. minutes. Yeah. But like, you're right. When I actually, don't know, when I shampoo and condition, yeah. If, you see? Yeah. It actually. <laughs> it takes time. It takes time. It's those hmm. coils, man. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> now, oi, because I need to, I went through a struggle. I went through a struggle. You know alopecia? Oh, wow. Yeah, that thing happened to me, fam. Yeah, yeah world, world map, world map. You say same. <laughs> Man just had one big alopecia patch. Bro, you can't have a bald spot if you shave it off. <laughs> That's my story and I'm sticking But nah, it. Oh, I had world map going on in my hair. Bro. So after that, like, I was like, yeah, nah, shampoo, all of this, yeah. the cream. Yo, how many, like, well, not yeah. how many, but I have like some quality yeah. ass, like hair creams and that at home, you know, just to keep it healthy in that, yeah. yeah? But if I'm shampoo and conditioning in the shower, it actually, yeah, you're right. Mm. It's kind of close to that, huh? This guy was so stressed. I remember he's like, at church. He's like, dude, do I start using Rogaine? <laughs> Bro, <laughs> What's that? It's this. Apparently, it, for balding men, it'll bring your hair back. It's oh, a scam. Right. But Have like, you tried so, it? Bro, that's nah, how we bro. bonded, isn't it? No. That's, yeah, how we, that's actually how we became friends. Right? <laughs> <laughs> bro, I started crying in the car when I started going bald with my dad. I'm like, hey, why'd you do this to me? <laughs> <laughs> Cause you have full hair, like you actually, yeah. like the photos no, that I've the seen. The saddest part is that I always, my mom is, okay, so you bald off your mother's side. Yeah, yeah? that's oh, right. That, apparently that's what it is, yeah. My mom, always, cause I've never met my grandfather, mm. barely know my uncles and stuff. She's like, yeah, they got hair, they got hair, they got hair. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, mm, good. Yeah. <laughs> my whole life I was like, so I, I only, I never loved long hair, nothing like that. So I was just like, buzz cut pretty yeah. much, yeah. I right, starts going away. Mama. You said I was okay. <laughs> the, guy, the, guy, the guy said, hold on, I didn't get a haircut today. <laughs> Bro, no, this is, I remember when I was told I'm going bald. I'm at my barber Aww. and the guy goes, your hair's thinning. I got to see, see. <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> Take it back. <laughs> Put it back, put it back on, put it back on. He was like, no, I'm bored, I know. And I was like, ah. I went to Ashley and Martin. Yeah. You know, the the yeah. commercials, all that thing. I was like, you know what, let me- How can you help me out? How can you help me? Big man, big man. Me what can you do for me? Me and my sister drove there. I don't know why she came. I'm the one driving. <laughs> She's just waiting in the- Moral support. In the, yeah, you need in the waiting room. The guy does nothing. Like They just scam people with this stuff, man. He comes and gets camera out. <laughs> I'm, si I'm sitting here, he does this, he goes, <laughs> takes a photo of the top of my head, puts it on the screen, he goes, as you can see. And at this point, you can barely see anything on the screen. Like, as in, I'm not really balding at that point. He's like, yeah, so if you look at look at this, yeah, you can see the crown, because this is called the, the crown. The crown, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so uh, that's the other thing, with balding, no one ever loses this. Mm. This stays. Yeah, 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 it's always like, like a- Like, God, come on, like, why don't you just do the reverse? I'm okay losing this, everyone's shaving yeah, fade yeah, anyway. Yeah. Everyone changed the size. Boy, this is real hurt, bro. This is real. Hey, this is, hey, this is trauma. Uh, traumatic, man. Traumatic experience. <laughs> yeah, and, the, and then the guy's like, yeah, so we can. We can. We can <laughs> I'm sorry. We can do this. We can do that. We can do like all the stuff. And he's like, but the only side effect is uh, erectile dysfunction. I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I, said, <laughs> I said, come on, man. I got to go. I said, you know what? Shaving tonight. <laughs> Man said the only yeah. side of it. <laughs> yeah. Sure. I looked at her, I said, I'm 20. <laughs> <laughs> That's terrible. Bro. <laughs> but now Damn. I'm cool, it's whatever. Wow. Sheesh, bro. Now, now you suit it so much. I mean, oh. I, mean uh, I have no choice. No, no. Oh. Oh. By God's like grace, the beard's there. Yeah, yeah. Oh. This look. Yeah. Yo, people only know me like this now. Yeah, people only know you mm. like this. So I don't know if I remember seeing your chair or not. 
I don't think I did. But this guy should be a comedian, oh, no, bro. Like Funniest stuff I've ever heard in my bro. life, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I had to run away, bro. How did you, you learn to embrace it? Though? I learned to embrace yeah. it? Yeah. yeah. What else do you do in life? Bold guys. <laughs> it's not like I go, oh, you know what, let me straighten it or try rock it curly or something. <laughs> nah, this is God decided for me. Oh, That's like that. like bro. <laughs> yeah. But you didn't have any moments where you felt like, oh, I can't wear it out. I cried in the car with my dad. But like, I don't even know why I cried. Now I look back, I was like, what the heck? No, but, but yeah, no, no, it's, it's a frustration. Yeah. Also, cause like, to be honest, I think 20 is a young age to, oh, yeah. to like, if I grew it out right now, it, it's still there. It's just, it goes like this. Yeah. It's, it's not nice. <laughs> it's not nice. I'll push your hair like that. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah. So, so it'll grow and like, it's yeah. fine, whatever, but it's, it whatever. just does Vegeta Motorola. Them yeah. Ones, so yeah, I, yeah, now yeah. it's like, there's yeah. never going to be a point in my life where people are like, oh, he's balding. Yeah. yeah. Cause I just, man just got a head straight away. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. There's yeah. no yeah. bald spot. Never was. <laughs> he's just gonna maintain the beard. Yeah. Don't like over the beard. Yeah, no, nah, absolutely. Hey, I'm, I'm laughing, yeah, but I'm out here yeah. looking like a testicle. <laughs> 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 like I had no beard. Yeah, he ain't got no beard. I can't. Bro, I love this podcast so much, bro. <laughs> Yo, I I proper was crying too, and my thing was balding, it's like doing nice, the patches at the back. I wear glasses, bro, it was and I'm not that tall, <laughs> and I'm not <laughs> fat, and I'm balding. I have my life, but that's damn man. It's not bro, that bad. But that's like, bro, like <laughs> we're sitting in a nice house. Do you hear it? Excuse me, Gary. I'm balding. <laughs> No, but at 20, I can't imagine. Like, most, I think most men, like, you'll, you'll see, like, (gasps) probably 26, 27. They're like, yeah. Mm, Still got some time (laughs) for that to happen. (laughs) Okay. Okay. But nah, it's whatever. Bro, I found that at the barber too, man. Oh, this guy is rude, yeah. They don't care, man. But he did it, yeah. I said, I'm not paying you. He shaved my hair now for me. Because, like, I had a full head of hair. And then I was like, oh, this is getting scrappy. I need to, like, fade Mm. this, man. So I went to the barber. My mom used to always take me to the barber, man, before I realized I can just do this myself. Because she was, I didn't know anything about the recommendation. So she would take control. Yeah, just give him the, you know what I mean? All of them ones, yeah. So the barber's doing my, you know, he's doing my thing, sorting me out, whatever. And I'm just there, mm, 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 yeah, man, yeah. bro. When I get back to school, bro, it's dangerous. Game over, yeah. And then like he's like, yep, cool. That's that's that, man. The mom goes, um, what did you what did you do to the back of his head? I said, oh snap. <laughs> <laughs> I started shooting in the seat, bro. I'm like, wait, what's going on, bro? Like, I bet. Okay, cool, cool, cool. And he gets the mirror out. He's like, yeah, you want to check it out? I'm like, yeah, <laughs> bro, let me see. And I'm seeing patches. I said, wait, bro, how, what happened? Like, what did what did you do? And I thought it was him until I touched my hair. I'm like. Oh, that's a smooth. That's smooth, bro. Like that's <laughs> that's been gone for some time, bro. Like I was like, what the heck? It just happened out of nowhere. Like my head just said, "What do you yeah, look, that's that's really that, that was that was end of year eleven, I think. I think. Wait, nah, come on. It was earlier than that, bro. No, no, no. It was end of year eleven because all of year twelve, and then I, like I rejuvenated at the end of yeah, year twelve. Yeah. Remember? Yeah, yeah. yeah it took it, took it, but it was alright because it was like, no, that's some. You bro, know, I remember I had the hat on and everything. Yeah, and all, that, was, bro. That, was, that was like a. Bro, we got awards and that. I'm walking up with a cap to go get a go get <laughs> my award. His friends are rude. Like, oh, don't worry about Danny. Has a condition, bro. <laughs> nah, that's not bad. Wait, how's that rude? <laughs> Right, it was, it was like, I was doing the diagnosis on the internet. I'm like, oh, this is a real thing. Yeah. I'm dying, I'm dying. I'm That's like, yeah, it. but I'm like, yo, like, yeah, nah, it's been gone. Like my head literally was like, yeah, I'm, I don't, I'm not with this scalp anymore. Like I'm yeah. off. Like you said, nah, I'm just, I'm not with your head anymore, brother. I'm like, whoa, like what the heck? Yeah, but now we're back. Sick. Now you're back. back. It was. Nah, oh, yeah, I, thought, I thought man was getting sick. I was like, bro, because you were like my homie in high school. Big and then man. that just started happening to me. I was just like, I was a big man. Damn. Listen, you know, you are, bro. Health. Because, <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, usually, like, you know, when you're going through some illness and all that stuff, yeah, it, it, that it looks yeah, like yeah. that. Yeah. This, this, yeah. that. So I was just looking at it from, like, that kind of point of view. Yeah. But then when he just told me, nah, it's not that, I was like, yeah, right, I don't care then. <laughs> <laughs> nah, not, not in that way, but it's like, that, that's the first thing I'm looking at it. Yeah. You get yeah. me? Like, some I was more concerned about, like, yo, is this Some of the boys yeah. said, um, what do you call it? Um, weed head or something, man. Like, as in, yeah. there's weed patches. This is the homies, though. All right. Hunt our Dalmatians, world map is the one that got me good, bro. That one hit me. Like to this day, I still feel that. And then like rice farm or something. I'm like, bro, yeah. what do y'all mean? <laughs> bro? Yo, it's real, man. Better, that was a tough time, now. man. Yeah, amen. We at you, man. We at you back good. again. The hair's back on the head, cuz like I don't know, man. I actually had a question that just came to my mind. Back on you know, on you and curls and stuff. How do you because you, we talked about you know your page being about curls and faith. How do you combine that? Like, how, yeah. how do you do it? 
how do you put them both in um i don't try to make the faith part so much about curls like yeah i do try to bring it in but i mean it is what it is you know like i will just speak about the way god has moved in my life okay, rather yeah, than yeah. um because yeah i can thank him for giving me this hair and obviously the platform which absolutely like he is behind all of that but i don't think that i need to always relate it like mm-hmm. it really like mm. you said it is part of it it's from the mm. beginning mm-hmm. it's just an element of me because it's me as a brand not just my hair yeah so yeah i just i keep them separate but yeah. it's like you're gonna get That's that you're gonna goes. get me so yeah, 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 yeah. can't be out here trying to yeah. drag it like oh yeah, yeah samson you know what i mean he was, yeah. Yeah. Cur- he was curling his hair too <laughs> bro you know what i'm saying the strength right. was he in had the seven hair. dreads <laughs> <laughs> But I guess yeah. there's like slick ways of kind of like incorporating that. Yeah. Like, like something like, in, you know, putting in like gospel, not gospel music, mm. but like, you know, gospel music in a way. Yeah. Yeah. You get me. Yeah. Some Kirk Franklin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Kirk Franklin. yeah, like that's what I'm saying. Like, like you know, one yeah. of those ways, like people yeah. are like, yeah, wow, like, wow, like. Yeah, well, you know. like body image, all mm. those things you yeah. relate back to, you know, like you were made beautifully yeah. 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 and wonderfully. Yeah. Why would you, you know? Yeah. So definitely, there's ways to tie and There's it. ways, yeah, like slick ways, ways. Like, you don't have yeah, to say anything. Yeah, you just yeah. gotta, like, people want to yell, what kind of song is that? Yeah, right. It kind of gives... They're great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> you, you get me. So, now nah, that's yeah. dope, though. Tag him, get shared. I don't know. Yeah. We're friends, yeah. so I can... Oh, shut up. Yeah. Yeah. Sky, bro. I think, yeah, that's one of, like, the beauties of, you know, being a Christian and just kind of... You know, knowing God and knowing his love for us, it's kind of like with everything, whether it's your body, whether it's your hair, whether it's your skin, it's like I can always just be like, God made me this way. Because I remember I was talking to Daniel a few days ago and I was talking about something that I wanted to change. Like I, I don't, but someone was like, oh, if I were to change something, I would change this on my body and get a plastic surgery or whatever. And he's like, oh, like, why would you want to do that? You know, this is how God made you and all of that. And it's like, I have nothing to say to that. Yeah. I don't remember true. this conversation. I'm just going to say, when was this? When? Oh, yeah. A few days ago. Oh, this is when I said I wanted a piercing, eh? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then, because it's like, yeah, I can't argue with that. Because God yeah. did make me this way. He loves me the way that I am. People around me love me the way that I am. Mm. But I can see why someone who um, doesn't have that faith or that belief mm. can really go down, like, a dark path where it's like, I don't love how I look. I don't like my yeah. nose. I don't like, you know, my stomach. Like, I want to change things. I want to do surgery. So that's why, like... Sometimes when people do talk about surgery, I'm not like fully against it, you know? I've, I was going to say, lately, yeah. my opinions have changed quite a on, bit, on to what? be honest. Me too. On, on surgery? Plus yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, how, how? Like, what yeah, was no it way. before and how's it now? At one point before, I was like, no, just work on it. You do you and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Like, it's fine. You don't, don't, it's like, one, it's expensive and, and two, you know, you, you can't, you can potentially keep going down yeah, this line really, and next thing, next thing. And, and then like, also like, Oh, I forgot the third one. But, like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no other reason. There was. Yeah, no, no, trust, trust, the second trust. one wasn't meant to be the second one. I forgot the third one now, though. But, like, God made me this way. That's the reason. Is it? Yeah, we'll go with that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's good. <laughs> but, like, um, yeah, but I think I saw something. There was this girl. She was, like, she was quite, like, um, what's, what was the word? Overweight, Obese? yeah. Mm. It was, yeah, like this was serious obe- oh, obesity. But that's how me and my Plus sisters. Yes. That's how we say it. <laughs> yeah. That's a joke. Yeah. Obesity, right? Um, and then she actually got like plastic surgery to remove quite a bit of the yeah. like um, right. the fat and the not even because she didn't oh. work out. Remove quite a bit of the fat and then like plastic surgery to um, you know fix up the skin, like the loose right. skin, all that, and it was snatched at that point. Mm. Okay. You know what I'm saying I'm like okay, but. Now she's like implementing, like working out and actually eating healthier now. Like she spent all that money to do all of that and the body's like, you know, healthier in terms of less fat content now. Mm. But now you need to make sure your body's aware of like, okay, this is how much we eat now and we eat these type of things now. Mm. I'm like, sure I was against plastic surgery, but like <clears throat> this has kind of changed the trajectory of where her life was going, yep. yeah. to be honest, man. You know what I mean? Like yeah, this, is, <clears throat> this is you, healthy. This is Making you a bit healthier now, and, yeah, but and even when it comes to though? yeah, I was gonna say, and even when it comes to like the cosmetic things, like an ear job or a nose aid job, your life. huh? Can aid your life, aid like it can help oh, your I life. Thought you were gonna say end or something like help, yeah. aid, yeah. bro. I'm just thinking like. I don't know what it is, man. But lately, I'm just like I don't know. Like, nah, but big man, see, nah, but big man. There's a difference between like yeah, ram overweight, yeah. Because even those people who are like crazy, crazy overweight and then the exercise, right? It's, it's yeah, yeah, out, right. Yeah. So you still gotta do some snip, snip in it, yeah. That's a snip, snip, <laughs> bro. But you get, but you get. I, I know what you're trying to say. <laughs> Technical terms, <laughs> apparently. African Ned Flanders, <laughs> bro. Honestly, yeah. bro. But anyways, yeah. Um, but there's that, and there's oh, I want to look prettier, right? I don't like my nose, or I don't like this, right? So then now, so what's your? Because for me, like you know, most. 
most time when I see it, yeah, you obviously see celebrities doing it, yeah. Mm-hmm. And then obviously you see like a lot of people like, yeah, snap, like, I, I want to be like that, but yeah. I can never be like that. The only way that I can do it is by doing this. Something else that actually made me think about that recently as well, because there's this girl I know, she actually got a breast reduction recently. Mm. I want to talk about this. Too, yeah. But yeah. So she got oh, a breast reduction yeah. recently, because oh, yeah. I know yeah. that obviously at least a lot of like back pain, like, yeah. Yeah, and all that kind of stuff. And I'm like, yeah. bro, am I going to be all like... You know, but go made you like this, you know what I mean? But it's like, you're in pain, bro. Like, mm. constantly. Yeah. And you went through a medical procedure or cosmetic procedure to actually alleviate that kind of pain that you're always in. So I'm like, all right, what? What, what do you say? Like, what are, we, what are you saying then? Okay, but then the, go the opposite, right? And it's like, then you're either hypocritical because then if you're like, if someone mm. goes, I want larger breasts, and it's like, nah, you shouldn't mm. do that because God made you that way, like all that kind of thing. That's not a valid argument if yeah, you have yeah. used it if you've been okay with the I'm opposite for yeah, yeah, but how, 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 how? That's how, why, how. like... Because one of them... It has it, to be it, a personal thing. Like, yeah. you can't just... Choose. I don't know, though. Because one of them is, like, a, uh, you know... Health. How, health thing. Right? So, which is why I got a, you know... <laughs> Bro, what? <laughs> <laughs> That's not what I said. <laughs> 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 you know, suck it out. You know, suck it out. Stop um, doing that. <laughs> is the camera on me? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely, bro. <laughs> bro. Okay, okay, okay. Let me be serious here, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Uh, breast reduction, yeah? Mm. <laughs> well, big man, sound funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because obviously that one, you got health uh, issues that's attached to that, yeah? Mm. Versus the other one where it's like, cuz, Loki, there's no health. Anything that's related to that, yeah? You're only doing it in terms of pre- uh, preference. Mm. I just want to do it because I just, I got small breasts. So I want bigger ones, yeah? That's like, yeah, I, I can't say you're hypocrite in that situation because one of them, you're doing it because you're like, this is not comfortable for me. It's not like, <coughs> oh, this is, unless it's a preference for you to do that now. That's like, yeah, right, God made you that way though. You get me? But it's one of those where I'm, I'm comfortable, you know what I mean? My back hurts and all that. So I was like, yeah, right, that makes sense. But then now you just want to do it because... You want to look? No, no, you. Yeah. It's tricky. I don't know. It is tricky, though. I feel like you can't come to a fully religious conclusion on it, and like you can't. Mm. If people want to feel a certain way, like you can't really direct people's life because yeah. I can see every side of this argument and agree with all of it. Too. Yeah, yeah. And, it's just and, mad. and disagree that's with all of it. Because I, yeah. okay, if that's the case, it's like, bro, just everyone shut up about it. Eh? Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. Isn't it? I, 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 I do what you gotta do. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah, but again, at the end of the day, we shouldn't really have an opinion on what they do with their body, right? Because yeah. it. Because what X. just what we justify, what we don't like. Okay, cool. It benefits you for your health, or it doesn't benefit you because you just want to be like a supermodel. Or God sees the heart behind it. Are you doing it because you hate how I made you, or are you doing it because oh you need health benefits, or you need, or you're in pain? Why would God want His child in pain? Like if something can aid you, of course. But He sees the heart behind it. At the end of the day, where we can't ever fully understand the reasoning. Mm. That's true. Why they're doing. That's right. Would that. that. If, it, if you're talking to someone that said they got um, surgery done, like plastic surgery, would that kind of uh, stop you guys from going ahead with things or not? Like if you're like in a talking kind of situation? Yeah. But they did it in terms of, oh, I want to I change want to this about better. myself because I want it to look better. And then you saw a photo of how it looked before and like, oh, yeah, that's crazy. I'm though. just scared that we're going to end up lying to our kids. Like they come out and they're like, hey, why do my nose look different? <laughs> oh, yeah, true. Because <laughs> they're going to get your original. <laughs> Mom's yeah. so beautiful original. and it's like... This guy is looking at his kids and the wife. Really? <laughs> yeah, really. No, but that happens. I mean, it does, a lot. Yeah, true. Actually, uh, this is a real scenario. Though. You guys hear about the guy that divorced his wife over it? But kids said his kids ugly yeah. or something. Yeah. Yeah. He was yeah. like, the kids came out ugly. And he, like, he didn't know that she had had all this stuff. Yeah. Like, wow. That's <laughs> mad, fam. That's peak. <laughs> it is. That's it. But that's what I'm saying, though. Like, you know, does that stop you from, like, yeah, like, it's gonna stop here. Not so much for the kids, but it's like okay, Doesn't maybe for me. the kids. But is it's just more of like, yeah, right, this is what you did. I don't really want to be with someone who's who's done that. Damn. But imagine you do it and then you don't want your child to do it. Yeah. What does that say uh, about uh, your decision? Uh, true. And then no, they're like, I'm really not good tough. enough because you had to change you, but I came from you. So Oof. why can't I change? Oh my myself? gosh. Yeah, like it's so deep. It does go beyond just you, hmm. yeah. for sure. That's flabbergasted. <laughs> 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 Our actions know. have consequences. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. But the same thing that we said last week, though, because we, I don't know if it was on the mm. podcast or just a conversation that we had, where it's like, oh, can you do something and then tell other people not to do it? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Was, was that, that on the podcast? podcast? Yeah, yeah. I, I was on the podcast. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess so then. Yeah, yeah that kind of conversation. Yeah, yeah. But then we did say, well, it doesn't make sense where it's like, 
I accept this, but I know it's not good for you to do this. Mm. But I still do it. I don't know. It's a, it's a tricky one, though. Mm, that that is interesting because I had the same similar experience, similar thing that happened with my siblings as well. Just in terms of like you know going out and all of that. Like because I used to go out and you know just have a jolly good time. Oh, I love this story. <laughs> 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 no, it's not even the same story. I'm just saying, like, yeah, I used to go out have a jolly good time and stuff. And now that I see them going out, I think it's more because like I'm just scared and stuff of like what's going on yeah, you know, around. Yeah, yeah when they're, people are out and about at parties and stuff, you just hear crazy things. So I'm always just like to them, like, do you guys need to go out? Like, why are you going out? Like, do you need to hang out with these people? Do you need to be doing this? Do you need to, like, don't, don't, don't. But then, yeah, one day my brother's like, oh, you did all of this as well. So like, why are you, you trying said, to stop huh. us? And yeah. I was like. Yeah, like, <laughs> mm, big man. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, okay. Touché. But, but at the same <laughs> time, but at the same time, sometimes you know yourself, yeah? <clears throat> and you know that you're observant. You know that. Legit, that's that's my yeah, that's, that's my thing. Uh, that's, that's what me. I tell. Sometimes like, where's my big uh, man? I, I had <laughs> jolly good time. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, heard, I, heard I, I was what, responsible. No, 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 I heard, I heard Anyone what, that had a jolly good <laughs> time and says I'm responsible doesn't remember. No, 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 I'm responsible. <laughs> I heard one time she was at the club. Yeah, the fight was going on. She was still <laughs> get money. <laughs> <laughs> You sitting over here saying, <laughs> but I'm, I'm observing. observing. <laughs> observing. <laughs> Me, man, no, I know fight. there's a fight going on. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's, but it's like, you know, like I put my hand on the stove, I burnt it, and then someone else wants yeah. to come and put their hand, but I'm like, hey, don't do it, don't That's do true. it. But they're like, oh, you just did it. And I'm like, yeah, but I'm telling you, you know, the consequences mm. to it aren't great, so don't do it. Mm. But they're like, okay. So it's like, do you just let them learn on their own and know. see them fall. It's, it's but you see that thing one. about the burnt stove situation, yeah? Which we always use that analogy. It's like, bro, bro your hand healed from the stove. So you, clearly you're fine. Yeah. <laughs> you got a scar. <laughs> is, so everyone's yeah. like... Scar. Yeah, yeah but, but sometimes you don't know how uh, crazy the heat is. Ooh. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> 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 this guy, bro. La 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 la, real though. You know, because that's what people say. That you went through yeah. is gonna be very different yeah, to the true. ones the that one how one gonna go through. Mm. Considering what's going on in society. On. Come on, keep up, big man. Mm. 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 But Hold that's on. why you don't tell them don't go. You teach them to have a solid yeah. character. Yeah. Yeah. So Take it, gun. Go, Facts. That's yeah. what. Wait, wait, wait. Taking a gun. Wait, wait, wait. What? I'm gonna take a knife with you. <laughs> Wait, what? Guy? You're not gonna attack me, everyone. Oh my guys, don't listen to no man. I don't know what this guy said. The guy said, "Take a gun, bro." You know like, the ones that were starting the fight that Mawa was uh, was uh, there at the Dude, party. Yes, he. <laughs> Big man, he <laughs> started that fight. This guy over here. Hey, Mawa. <laughs> Mawa was like, "Yo, oh my goodness." <laughs> hey, Noor. Hey, Noor. <laughs> Jeez, man. No, I like that though. About like, yeah, build the sure. build the character instead. I mean, we hear that. I guess we throw it around, but it's like, yeah, it is a lot. I don't know about easier, but mm-hmm. it's probably a lot more sustainable to teach someone how yeah. to be someone yeah. as opposed to like, don't do this, don't yeah. do that, or to force thing. something. Because even like, there's that Bible passage, and it's about children. But I think even you can apply it to like friends, family, whatever. But it's like, you know, teach a kid the way they should go, and when they grow up, they won't depart, depart from it, right? But it's like, it. yeah. don't force a kid the way they should go, yeah. and like, they just do this. No, no, show them mm-hmm. how. Teach, teach us why and what, and all. And these teach things. sometimes means from your life too. Yeah. yeah. Most times means from your life too, isn't it? Yeah. Mad thing. I think the elements of why are you smiling so hard. <laughs> <laughs> I think the element of being able to explain. Oh snap! Why? Sorry, man. I just probably realized, like, bro, that thing's not really even talking about. Like, tell them this, tell them that. It's like, bro, you, you live that instead. Yeah. Hmm. Oh yeah. Bible still right now. On that, it, like, this is one thing I realized. Like, we don't read the Bible. Well, I'll speak for myself. Yeah, yeah like, just read the Bible. When I read the yourself, Bible, like a lot of time, it's just reading it rushed. And so I'm not even oh, okay. taking in what I'm mm. reading like properly, you know. But it's like when you read it and read it with like, okay, this guy's saying this now and he's okay. saying it like this, this you know? And it's like, right. I don't know, sometimes it helps just like imagine them actually in person, that kind of thing. Cause otherwise oh. you're just reading like, all right, Paul stepped up, said this, all right, it's Peter sat down. Like, yes. what do I get, what do I get out of this now? Mm-hmm. There's no practical understanding. Nah, practical. Wait, so you read it, yeah. so why you rush it? We got to go big man. <laughs> <laughs> He has no answer. What if God's actually looking down? Like, where, where are you going, yeah, <laughs> bro? You go, you got to sleep. Done. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> You're not seeing anybody. <laughs> You're working from home. <laughs> <laughs> I know you don't have friends. <laughs> it's at seven p.m. <laughs> I love what he do. Uh, nah, that one flopped. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that one do. That one do work. Yeah. <laughs> it's only seven o'clock. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> 
I don't know what that one was. Yeah, nah, I was doing so sorry. well. Yeah, nah, this, this is me. Like towards the end, it's like yeah, nah, all the good jokes left. Yeah, just leave Carlos alone. He tried. Yeah, nah, nah, all the good. He really tried. Nah, nah, I didn't try. I just let it go. Damn. Hey man, this ah, is bro. like you're running, fam. What's the time? We, we I don't know what's our longest episode so far. I would guess two thirty. Is it? Yeah, oh yeah, fam. Oh, you're getting up there. Fam. I don't even know how when this happened. I look up, I look down, like oh snap, long, across yeah? two hours. Oh wow, bro. yeah, is it two hours? Yeah, yeah fam. I wanted happy. to hear. Um, actually, because you and you were talking about your bolting, like you know, you know the razor. Sorry, I, I yeah, don't know how yeah. to say it, bro. You know what razors and uh, you know say what I'm my saying? hair regimen. Yeah, 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 yeah. I want to hear it. You know. I thought, so, yeah. it was, I thought it was regime, bruv. Is it? Regiment. Your hair regimen, yeah? You know what you do. <laughs> Would you ever do something for guys? Or like a collab Ooh. with, uh, I'm not, I'm, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. would you ever do something? I have thought about this. I'd actually love to, because I feel like there are some guys that message on the page, oh, but a lot of the time they feel so awkward. Like I can tell they're like, ah, this is for girls. I don't yeah. know what to say. So my sister, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Hypothetically. Um, so I'd love to like bring on guests. And be nice. like, oh, sure. this is how I'm gonna do his hair. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, true. Yeah. Yeah. There's, there's yeah. hella guys with curly hair in that too, and that. Yeah, so. and they also they usually don't know as what well, to so. do. Yeah, yeah. If anything, girls will at least know a bit more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, always mm. seeing it, but guys not really. Nah, that's yeah. cool. No, no, no. What's in the works for you then? Like, what's what can we look forward to? Um, I am designing my logo Ooh. this week. Ooh. Yeah, nice. so I'm really excited about that. You should have hit up my man, no, he's great. Bro, you're trying to hit, give him hella plugs. You're trying to get me money or something? What is it? Had I known you're already graphic designer. <coughs> well, like, look at him, bro. Like <laughs> acting so hot right now. Let me put that camera on him, bro. Look at him, look at him, look at him. Hit him up for any inquiries. Just say, logo. <laughs> <laughs> I can do that. <laughs> um, yeah. But yeah, like that. Once I have my logo, I want to have my website, yeah. start designing mm. that. Um, and then hopefully some products. So dope, yo. Yeah. That's good. So man. this is going beyond just Instagram. Damn. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that is nice. Damn, really this is how like it, it, we might be yeah. witnessing yeah. something right now. Fam. Like that's <laughs> legit how it like kicks off. Bro. Awesome. Yeah, greatness, bro. I feel like that's like with every guest on on a podcast. They are talking we're like, yeah, right. We're witnessing something special right here. I like that, man. You get me, and obviously yeah. you're one of them. I don't believe you. I believe you. Thank you, bro. All other guests are like, yo, 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 yo. Wait, 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 wait. No, bro, what's that about you me? Don't say a lie. But nah, that's cool. Like, yeah, that's, nah, cool, nah, that's cool, actually man. really, really cool. Girl, yeah, you said like blogs and all that or something. Yeah, like on the website, I wanted to have a blog that's segment. Cool. Hopefully, YouTube in the works. Yo, mm. I just need time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. man. But you don't want to take stuff. Nah, this time thing is annoying, man. When you have to realize it takes time to do things, and then like you still have jobs. Like, yeah. Let me live, friends. Let me live, bro. Nah, nah, that's that's dope. that's real dope. I you know, man. So. so what is it? At the curls guide. At the curls guide. It'll that's easy, easy English. Easy English, guys. You can easily find. <laughs> have, you, that, have you got the domain already? Nah, I will register it this week. Yeah. 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 Imagine if you take it, That's crazy. <laughs> oh, <all right. laughs> no, I checked it like oh, okay. two weeks ago. Right, so basically, this is when you when you plan on doing. We're not going to drop this until. <laughs> <laughs> You know that's not a hater. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, I'll sell it to you. <laughs> hey, trust, after yeah, this man. episode, go do that. Yeah, go do that right now. Yo, that's no, what I want to do. Yeah. <laughs> Next, like, social media that pops off or something, I want to get on super early and, and get, get the like, at Diddy, yeah. at the game. Didn't at he, one whatever. of the guys we know. I'll sell to you. One of the guys yeah. said he took um, Amy Schumer's or something. Yeah, he took the handle. So it's like if she wants to jump, I think it was TikTok, yeah. yeah, yeah. So okay. if she wants to jump on TikTok, it's gonna yeah. 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 Do that. People actually do that. This guy, like, bro, you're a little seventeen-year-old from <laughs> that side of town, bro. You got to make bread. Like so you pay them royalties just mm. for using your own brand. Nah, mm. oh, right, that's annoying. I'd be annoyed as a celebrity. Someone just took my name, and now yeah. I just can't yeah, do that's my thing. Crazy. Like so my what was name. Your thing again. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. You're always making moves. I can see <laughs> He's this doing it on the low low. Yeah. Yeah. Look he, at the he, he, he dress hey, 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 listen, I'm telling you, listen, listen, listen. You, you know the jokes, man. There's some seriousness here too. You bro, know? Yeah, that kind of looks scary, bro. From this angle, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> right. Oh man, nah, uh, bro, we're joking around too much, bro. Yeah, like, this is dope, man. Nah, it, was hey, it was really good having you oh, on in that, man. Yeah. And I, I, I love I, being on. Thanks for having me. Uh, we love that. We're not scary in that. Nah, you hear that, guess? Yeah, we ain't scary. <laughs> you maybe. <Pretty> cool. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah, it's, everyone says that. <laughs> oh man, nah, that's dope. That's dope. Yeah, nah, I love yeah. how you're, you know, what I mean, empowering people yeah. and doing it your own kind of way. It's like I never in a million years would have thought that that. 
you know, it's and likewise, you're empowering me by bringing me on. Come so on. Uh, come on. Uh, must. Yeah, yeah, you say hey, well, thank you for joining us for another Wait, episode. Of the you what? didn't ask the question. What question? The dead or alive question. Who's dead or alive? Bro, we have not done we, that. We don't do so that one long. anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you don't rock up to the shoots anymore? You don't, you don't show up to me. Ask your question. Okay, if you could <laughs> hang out with anyone. Yeah, sure. If you could, if you could hang out with anyone, have a conversation with anyone, dead or alive, who would it be and why? You can't say Jesus. Okay. <laughs> um, um. Stress. Stress. <laughs> what you gonna say? I, Look, I always wanted to sit with J. Cole because I just think he's a lyrical genius. Mm. Okay. But then, like, honestly, come on. I might choose um, Nina Simone. Mm. This is got a crazy strange life. fruit. That one. Nope, I don't know that. <laughs> Wait, you never. Nope. Oh, goodness gracious. It's I'm uncultured like that. I, right. I was listening Check to Taylor Swift in it. Watch her documentary Cyrus. on Netflix. Where, it's on there? Yeah, what I happened with Simone? It's amazing. Yeah. Okay, I, 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 I might need to do that. Yeah. yeah I <laughs> Ma really brought that back from I don't know what episode like was the last the time we did that. Yeah. Yeah. It is a good yeah. question. It is a good question. It kind of gives you like a. Who would you guys go? Who is yours? Yeah. One of the guests. I don't care if you're not the guests, bro. We'll bring you back. I would go. Lil Wayne. Jay Z. Yeah, you go. Jay Z is possible. Nah, he's gonna go mm. biggie. Come on, man. No, nah, I don't think so. I don't think like Loki. I think my mom's dad never got to meet him. Or my dad's dad. Wow. Yeah, yeah this guy went really deep. But probably yeah. Jay Z. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I don't know if I didn't need to take a fan. What are you saying? Wait, what? Oh, so it is serious thing. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Nah, because I actually got no clue. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't know. Um, but let me just throw a name out there. Let's see. Yeah, Wow, I can't think of a name, bro. Yeah, don't worry about it. Right, thank you for joining <laughs> us for another episode <laughs> of the Disruption Podcast. Uh, make sure you follow at the Curls Guy. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. And like everything, interact with there. You know what I'm saying? Get your homies on it. And yeah, we'll catch you guys next week for another episode. Yeah. That's, that's us. Yeah. Nice. Wow. wow.